today is a great day. It's a special day for us. We are doing Poto Uru number four. The fourth Poto Uru, which is probably the last in the year. And, and for those who do not know what a Poto Uru is, a Poto Uru is just a greater gathering. It's a feast. It's a feast where we eat more of the word on that particular day. Um, I want to announce, probably others have already heard it, that we have suspended our Middle East uh, baptism program, which was scheduled to start this week, this coming week from the 1st of December to the 6th. Uh, and a lot of people were so excited. I heard that people were traveling from various countries and various continents so that we could meet in Dubai to, to do that baptism. But due to um, travel restrictions associated with the COVID pandemic, which were instituted a few days ago by different authorities uh, in various places, but most importantly in the host country where we were going. We could not continue with the program. So those who had purchased their air tickets, we are encouraging you either to cancel or to withhold them, to suspend them. And when the traveling is now permissible, then we are going to give you new dates for the baptism program. So the baptism program is not canceled. The baptism program has been postponed indefinitely. We have not new dates so far because our dating is dependent on the opening of borders and accessibility to the place where we need to go for that baptism to take place into the United Arab Emirates. So let's hold on, let's hang on. Let's not lose hope. I know it's a major setback to some of you. We had applied for leave days from your workplaces and so forth. But let us understand that there's always God's time and no one can stop what God wants to achieve. It will happen. You will be baptized. You will definitely be baptized. Let us be a little bit more patient. The second announcement is that we did a baptism program yesterday in Harare. 146 people were baptized yesterday in Zimbabwe, the 27th of November. And that is the image there that was our baptism that we did yesterday. So I think we need to thank God and to yes. celebrate yes. because that is not a small mm. event. Mm. Baptism is not a small event. Baptism is very important to us. When people are baptized, that is very, very commendable. We, we rejoice, we celebrate because that's what converts someone from being a sinner into a child of God. Mm -hmm. You hear the word, you believe it, then you obey the instructions that were given by the Savior on the method of salvation. Repentance, baptism of water, and baptism of the Holy Spirit through the laying on of hands. So those who are not yet baptized in Zimbabwe, submit your details, submit your names. We have a very, very active, a very, very robust baptism program that is always ongoing. When there is a new baptism program penciled in Harare, you will be notified on time. Wherever you are, as long as you are in Zimbabwe, you can travel to Harare for baptism. 
you can't wait for the baptism team to come <laughs> to where you are. Yeah. If that happens, it's a benefit. You can thank God. But you can't wait for that luxury. Your baptism is the most urgent thing in your life as soon as you would have believed the word we are preaching. So we thank God for the baptism that happened yesterday. 145 people yes. became alive yesterday. Yes. 145 children were born yesterday. Yes. Isn't that awesome, Brother Nelson? It is. It's a great thing. We are the only church that is yes. uh, valuing those uh, procedures. Yes. yes. Others are trying to recover the monies they lost mm. <laughs> during the lockdown era. Yes. yes. So they are focusing on collecting money. <laughs> we are focusing on collecting souls. Oh, yes. <laughs> and for that, we are so proud. Yes. So I want to say congratulations to yes. those who were baptized yesterday. I want to yes. say to them, welcome home. Yes. Welcome to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the pillar and the ground of the truth. Amen. Welcome to the heavenly Jerusalem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the city of the living God. Yes. Welcome to Mount Zion. Yes. Welcome to God, the judge of all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, to the blood of sprinkling yes. that speaks of better things than that of Abel. Yes. Welcome to the church of the firstborn. Amen. We are thankful to God for your salvation. We believe that the Lord who started this work in you shall perfect it in Jesus Christ until the day of reckoning. Yes. And we also want to thank the baptism team. Yes. We want to thank our deacons and our elders and our helpers and our ushers. Mm. We want to thank the media team. We want to thank uh, the ministers who are working tirelessly um, during inconvenient environments and inconvenient times yes. as vessels of God so that you can be born again. It's a service that is not done by people who love to be busy bodies. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's not a small job to spend the whole day ushering during a baptism program. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a small job to baptize people. It's a tiring job. Yes. Lifting up huge people from the water <laughs> and so forth. Yes. It's something that we thank God for you, if you are part of the work that we are doing, we are thankful to God for you. Yes. The other announcement is that we are working and we are counting down towards the assignment day, which is going to happen on the 11th. Yes. It's now less than two weeks, I suppose, mm -hmm. when we shall celebrate the commissioning of this apostolic assignment that we have received. Yes. So every believer among us is invited to join us on the 11th of December as we celebrate the assignment that God has given to Apostle Chwenga, yes. which is the foundation upon which the work we are doing is launched or is anchored. Yes. Maybe I want us to read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 and 20. Let's start from verse 18 so that we may understand that the apostolic assignment is a foundation to the preaching of the gospel. Yes. yes. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners. You, 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 you that call yourself a believer. Yes. You call yourself a child of God. You call yourself a Ziegler guide. Mm -hmm. You are no more a stranger to God. Yes. 
you are no more a foreigner to God. Yes. Mm-hmm. But what are you? But fellow citizens with the saints. You are now a citizen yes. in the kingdom of God. And of the a fellow house. citizen with other saints. Yes. yes. And of the household of God. You are a member of a God's family. You are a member of the household of God. Yes. Yes. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. In as much as there are many ministers in the church, yes. we have pastors, mm-hmm. we have teachers, we have evangelists, and we have also apostles. Mm-hmm. But it should be understood that he was talking to the Ephesian church, the Ephesian believers. He told them there were no more strangers. Yes. Mm-hmm. There were no more foreigners. Yes. Mm-hmm. But they were now citizens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the question was, how did they become citizens of the household of God? Mm-hmm. The answer is in verse 20. Yes. You are built upon the foundation mm-hmm. of the apostles and prophets. Yes. So whether you like it or you don't, whether you like me or you don't, Mm -hmm. the apostolic assignment is a foundation building assignment. Mm -hmm. The foundation of the gospel is laid by an apostle. The apostle doesn't wake up an apostle on a special day. Mm -hmm. The Lord commissions someone to start to work in the apostolic assignment. Mm -hmm. Whatever we see at Ephesus, the foundation of the work of God that was happening at Ephesus, it was laid by Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. And Apostle Paul is writing to them. He's telling them, you are Mm built. If you look at verse 21, he says, Mm -hmm. In, in him, whom? in Christ, all the building fitly framed together yes. grows unto an holy temple in the Lord. Yes. So everyone is part of the building. Mm-hmm. You are built up to become a member of the holy temple of the Lord. But what is the foundation of this building? Yes. The foundation the was laid by the apostle. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jesus Christ himself is the chief cornerstone. Yes. The foundation of the gospel is laid by an apostle. Mm. What it means is for you to hear the gospel for the first time, Mm -hmm. whoever is preaching you or preaching to you the gospel, Mm -hmm. he is getting access to this message Mm -hmm. in one way or the other from the apostle. Yes. That's why in in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10 mm-hmm. Apostle Paul says as a my as a wise according to the yes. grace of God which is given unto me yes as a wise master builder yes I have laid the foundation yes and another builds thereon mm-hmm. but let every man take heed how he builds thereupon yes mm-hmm. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is is Jesus Christ. Yes. So I want to remind you, brethren, the apostle is not just a builder. Yes. He's a master builder. Yes. The word master builder, it means lead builder. Yes. Yes. The apostle is the lead builder in the construction of the temple of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. The foundation of the gospel is laid by the apostle. Mm -hmm. The introduction of the true gospel is made into the world by the apostle. Mm -hmm. That's why when our Lord rose from the dead, Mm -hmm. he did not go back into the streets of Israel to preach the message of his resurrection, which is the right message. That gives salvation. Mm -hmm. He launched 11 apostles 
to go and preach the gospel into all the world. Yes. For the first time, those who heard the message of the suffering, the death and the resurrection of Jesus, they heard it from the apostles. Mm -hmm. So the bringing in of an apostolic assignment is the starting of a great kingdom assignment on earth from which assignment there is going to be the birth of so many offices. Yes. Ministers, pastors, evangelists, teachers, the rising up of prophets, the rising up of stewards, the rising up of governments, helps and administrations in the whole structure of the whole spectrum of the church. Mm -hmm. The starting point is an apostolic assignment. It has received a mandate to lay the foundation. Yes. The foundation of the gospel. So on the 11th of December, yes. we are going to be celebrating the apostolic assignment. The actual day is nine. Mm -hmm. You are going to hear much of what you may need to hear on how this apostolic assignment came to Apostle Chuenga. So this is why we are reminding you that make a date with us to celebrate uh, that day. Let us go into the message. John series, part five, subtitled, Kana. John series, part five, subtitled, Kana. Today, I'm not going to start to give you an overview of the John series from where we started to where we are today. We are going to read from John chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. So, Pastor. Yes. <coughs> I want us to read again verse 1 to 4. Maybe Brother Nelson can help there. Yes. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. So, um, brethren, I'm sure you remember what we did on Sunday. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, we preached a message that was titled... The third day. Yes. So I told you, I reminded you that in that particular message, I was not preaching about the marriage, the wedding mm -hmm. that happened in Cana of Galilee. We were focusing on the third day. And I promised you that the marriage itself shall be preached on the Sunday message, and today is the day. Yes. So we are not going to talk about the third day. Mm -hmm. But the problem with a series-based message is that there are carryover issues from the past or previous message to the next, which everybody should know of for that message to achieve what God wants it to achieve. Yes. Whatever it is that the Lord wants you to learn today, he wants you to learn it. But do you still remember the relevance of the Kana wedding or the Kana marriage? We spoke a lot, we said a lot, we spent much time Opening scriptures from one book to the next, 
showing you that the marriage that happened in Cana of Galilee is a picture of the day in which Christ shall come to marry his church. Jesus is the husband of the church. We are courting, we are still in our espousal days with Christ. Those are the two things we taught on Sunday. We are not going to have the luxury to go back into those matters and open those scriptures. Now, this very message that Jesus is coming to do his marriage does not benefit unbelievers. He is not coming as a bridegroom to the whole world. He is coming as a bridegroom only to his church. Yes. So the coming of our Lord in the grand finale of things mm -hmm. is coming with a two-sided approach. On the right, he is coming as a bridegroom to marry his wife, the church. On the left, he is coming to pour out his wrath, his indignation, to make justice on those that have declared themselves to be his enemies. So you are going to realize that on that particular day, there will be two venues on one day. On venue number one, Jesus will be signing papers and putting on an event where he's going to be celebrating and rejoicing uh, in merrymaking with his wife. And that is going to be a great get together between Jesus and his church. On venue number two, so much weeping and gnashing of teeth and wailing and great weepings are going to be happening. In that venue, Jesus shall not appear as a bridegroom. Mm -hmm. He shall appear as the judge who is coming to execute judgment, not to pronounce the verdict, but to execute judgment to execute judgment and to execute condemnation. So it's not good, it's not enough for you to know that Jesus is coming back. You better know where are you going to be when he comes. Mm. There are going to be two places yeah that are going to see Christ differently. At the marriage venue, they will be admiring him. But at the judgment venue, they will be tortured by him. So this merciful Jesus, this kind and gracious Jesus that we are talking about today, is not going to be that merciful to a very, very much larger, bigger crowd of people. Some of them, we eat and we dine with them on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. They are never going to see the bridegroom because the wedding venue yeah. is going to be strictly by invitation. Mm. There will be no gate crashers on that wedding venue. Mm. There is no vacant chair on that or in that wedding venue. Every chair will be occupied. So, when we preach the gospel, we are either inviting those who are meant to attend the marriage, mm -hmm. or we are busy cleansing and purifying the bride so that on her wedding day 
she may be ready to be involved or to be engaging with the bridegroom with the highest standards of purity that are required as recorded in scripture. So the scriptures which we opened on Sunday, we are not going to open them. Remember on Sunday also, we only read one. Mm -hmm. We do not want to open them again. But I want us to read Matthew 22, verse 1 to 14, to remind you that outside the marriage hall, there is no joy, there is no jubilation, there is no happiness, there is no rejoicing. There will be torment, and that torment will be dished out by Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. And probably that parable which we are going to read in Matthew 22 shall help us to understand the thrust of today's message. Mm -hmm. Now, on Sunday, the thrust was when was the marriage or when is the marriage going to happen? Mm -hmm. The marriage shall happen on the third day. Yes. And as we taught in that message, we discovered the three dispensations mm -hmm. in the manifestation of Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Yes. He is the first dispensation, mm -hmm. and that dispensation is called sin offering dispensation. Mm -hmm. That dispensation is called lamb dispensation. That dispensation is called son of man dispensation. That dispensation lasted only for 33 years. Mm -hmm. From the day he was born in the flesh up to the day he died. When he rose from the dead, mm -hmm. our Lord launched a new dispensation. Mm -hmm. The second dispensation is the Son of God dispensation. Yes. The Son of God dispensation is way much longer than the first dispensation. As of now, we don't know how many years it is going to last. Mm -hmm. But we know when Jesus comes as the bridegroom, yes. that day, that hour, that moment will be marking simultaneously the end of the second dispensation and the beginning of the third dispensation. Mm -hmm. yes. The second dispensation is the Son of God dispensation, also called the New Testament dispensation or the ministry of the Holy Spirit dispensation. So, in the first dispensation, he paid the price for our sin. Mm -hmm. In the second dispensation, we are now seeing the herouding of that sacrifice. Those who pay heed to that herouding become beneficiaries of the dividends acquired, accrued in the first dispensation that prepares them for day number three, which is the third dispensation, which begins with the marriage between Christ and the, the church. So the marriage is not happening in the first, nor in the second dispensation. The marriage shall happen in the third dispensation. It is the first thing that shall happen in the third dispensation. That's why John chapter 2 begins with the words, in the third day. Mm -hmm. So the third dispensation now is eternal life, life after judgment day, mm -hmm. life after the era of the earth. Because the earth we have is not going to last beyond the second dispensation. Mm -hmm. 
the earth is going to last up to the end of the second dispensation. The third dispensation does not include the earth. The earth is not going to be in existence in the third dispensation. Which means by the time the marriage happens, mm. the earth would have been excused in the affairs of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Earth is can you give us privacy? The Lord shall speak to the earth and say, can you give me privacy? <laughs> can you excuse us? Yes. We have private matters. Judgment <laughs> 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 So on that day, brethren, according to scriptures, yes. the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall be darkened, the earth and the heavens, they shall flee from his presence. Mm -hmm. There will be no sun, there will be no moon, there will be no stars, yes. there will be no Pacific Ocean or Arctic regions, mm -hmm. there will be no such such nonsense, such rubbish, such trash. The third day shall happen in a spectacular manner. Mm -hmm. The very things that seem important to you today, they will not be there to witness the third day. Yes. yes. I want to be very clear about this. Now, we know the name that Jesus used in the first dispensation. Yes. He was known as Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. We know the name that Jesus is using during the second dispensation. Yes. He is called Jesus Christ, Christ. Yes. the Son of God. Yes. Yes. We don't know mm -hmm. the name that he shall use yes. in the third dispensation. Yes. yes. The scriptures are clear. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows that name yes. except himself. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think for that, before we read Matthew 22, let's read those scriptures. Mm -hmm. The scriptures that are going to tell us that there are names that are used in each dispensation. Yes. Each time he enters into a dispensation, he uses a different name. Mm -hmm. The name he used in the first dispensation is not Jesus Christ. Yes. It is Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. The second dispensation is Jesus Christ, or Son of God. So Jesus of Nazareth mm -hmm. also means the Son of David. Mm -hmm. So Romans chapter 1, verse number 1 to 4, yes. shall tell us his names in the first and second dispensations, yes. respectively. Yes. Yes. But concerning the name that he shall appear with in the last dispensation, of course, we don't know the name. The Bible does not allow us to know that name, mm -hmm. but we shall find proof whether... Apostle Chuenga is correct to say that the name of the judge is not yet unveiled. Yes. It is true that Jesus shall judge this world mm -hmm. because he is the same person. Yes. Yes. But what name shall he use when he executes judgment? Yes. No, nobody knows that name. Yes. Because the attributes of a judge are not found in the names Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ are names that bring out compassion, that bring out, that portray, that exude mercy, grace, yes. clemency, mm -hmm. love. Those attributes are severe attributes. Yes. You don't find those attributes 
in the judge dispensation. Mm -hmm. When he comes as the judge, when he comes as the executor of God's punishment on God's enemies, there will be no love, there will be no compassion, there will be no clemency, there will be no mercy, mm -hmm. there will be no peace, there will be no kindness. Mm -hmm. Because of that, he needs a name that excludes the characteristics of a savior. Yes. Let us look at Romans 1, 1 to 4 and find out whether the names are available in the scriptures. What is your name in the first dispensation? Yes. What is your name in the second dispensation? Yes. What shall be your name in the third and final dispensation? Yes. Let us find out. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised the afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. According to the flesh, he is the son of David. Yes. What does it mean, according to the flesh? It means in his days in the flesh. Yes. yes. Jesus says what are called the days of his flesh. Yes. <laughs> and declared to be the son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness. When was he declared to be the son of God? Yes. By the resurrection from the dead. You see now. Mm. Yes. So when he rose from the dead. Yes. That is when he was declared mm -hmm. to be the son of God. Yes. yes. But before he was declared the son of God, he knew he was the son of God. That was an office allocated to him. Yes. But he was not yet functioning in that, that office. office. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Aganga ajiji ziva kutindini, but kutindijata ngari ni kushanda mu office ya son of God. Aisha Ziva, kutindi gotanga kushanda sa son of God. Dino fani ruwa kungenda muka kubakaf. So son of God dispensation begins with the resurrection from the dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is also called the begotten son dispensation. Yes. yes. Revelation 19 verse 11. Yes. We are going to find out that the third dispensation is a name that we are not yet aware of. Yes. Yes. And I saw heaven opened. And you behold, saw heaven opened. And behold a white horse. You saw a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. It was not Jesus Christ, was it? No. Mm -hmm. What Faith was his name? Faithful and true. It's not Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Read the last part. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So you see, Pastor. Yes. Revelation 19 verse 11 is very clear. Mm -hmm. These scriptures are wonderful. They are sweet <laughs> because yes. they don't give us yes. a space and room to speculate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who are you talking about? Well... I don't really know his proper name, but sometimes we hear him, they call him truth, yes. true and faithful. Yes. Okay. What exactly is the time? Mm -hmm. He says, well, it's time to judge. It's time to make war. Yes. So verse 11 yes. tells us the time. Yes. It tells us the day. Yes. It is day number three. three. Yes. Yes. Today, he is not coming to die for anyone. Mm -hmm. Today, he is not coming to heal any sick, mm -hmm. to open any eyes of the any blind yes. that we have among us. Today, he has not come mm -hmm. to give rest to those that are tired. Yes. Today, he is judging and today he is making war. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is going to start a war. Yes. Jesus is going to fight a war. Yes. Jesus is going to launch a war. Yeah. We are going to read another scripture right now after this mm -hmm. and show you that on that very day, on day number three, yes. in 
in the third dispensation, yes. there will be two venues in the same place. Mm -hmm. The judgment hall and the marriage hall. Mm -hmm. You are going to be excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yes. So yes. he's judging, yes. Brother Nelson. Is he dying for the sinners there? No. Is he healing the sick there? No, he's not. Is he walking on water? No. <laughs> What is he doing? He's making war. He's that making war. war. Yes. yes. That Jesus whom they smote on his face. <laughs> and as a lamb, he was quiet. He never fought back. Yes. He is a warrior. Yes. The only problem is they wanted him to respond at a wrong time. Mm -hmm. This is not my time to make war. There is time for everything, remember? Oh, yes. A time of peace mm -hmm. and a time of war. Oh. Yes. So we are in the time of peace. Yes. We are in the thunder times, yes. the thunder days. <laughs> Lightning is coming. What day is a peace and a funza David? Kuti Moshe Joa Bindei. Yes. Davita no kutaura to Moshe Joa Baisia Kuita Wondo. Moshe Joa Bindei Kudeura Ropa. Runofanya Udeuru, Wapangua Wondo. Arimas, my peace. Yes. Joa Bano Uraya, we are not to Bruneva and Wakawanda Waga Uraya. And now better than Buzukonai, than Buzukora Joab Rangari time. Yes. It was a time of peace yes. when Joab killed Amasa, mm. the son of Abigail and Jetha, mm. and also Abuna, mm -hmm. the son of Ne. Yes. He killed men at a time of peace. Mm -hmm. He shed blood at a time of peace. Yes. The scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, mm -hmm. it says there is a time for peace yes. and a time for war. Yes. yes. So when you listen to scriptures like uh, Ephesians chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse number 14 and 15, mm -hmm. which declare Christ as our peace. Yes. Do not confuse yourself. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our peace. Yes. Now, it is time to make peace with God. Yes. If we don't make peace with God now, mm -hmm. the time of war shall yeah. come. Yes. So let's go back to Revelation 19. Yes. He is now launching the third day, the third dispensation. Yes. How does he launch it? Well, he is starting a war. Yes. He is starting to execute judgment. But of course, he does it in righteousness. Yes. It's a righteous war. <laughs> Pastor, Hakuna Mashogu Agadaru. Atina Mashogu Agadaru Pajika Pajabu. Yes. Hakuna. Murgude Ura Ropa says, you can't name Zira Yakarurama. Tukunorwa Ondo Yakarurama. Pachafiwa. Asindi Chaura Yavadu name Zira Yakarurama. Yes. Kururama Kwangu. Kuchandi tunga mira kuno deura ropa. Di chaura ya vanu ni nzire ya karurama. Yes. He is not making war with wickedness. No, no, In no. righteousness. Yeah. Which means it is a God-sanctioned war. War. You can't report it to anyone. Yes. It's a God's case, no appeal. Verse 12. <laughs> his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Now, and he had his eyes were full of fire. Yes. There are scriptures that suggest that Jesus looked at many people and he had compassion on them mm -hmm. because they seemed like sheep that were without shepherd. Mm -hmm. yes. So I want you to remember that verse 14, Matthew 14. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude mm -hmm. and was moved with compassion toward them yes. and healed their sick. Mm -hmm. So this is one other scripture that shows us that Jesus, when he sees people, he will be filled with compassion. Sure. Matthew chapter 9, verse number 36. Mm -hmm. But when he saw the multitudes, yes. he was moved with compassion on them mm -hmm. because they fainted and were scattered abroad as a sheep having no shepherd. Yes. Now, so this is one person. That's very exciting. Yes. This is one of his many uh, amazing characteristics. Yes. He can have compassion. He can also have so much wrath, so much anger to the extent that when they saw his eyes, 
they were a flame of fire. Mm. There is no compassion. Mm. There is a fury. Yeah. The descriptions that are in Revelation 19 are descriptions of an infuriated judge yes. who is not willing to listen to anything that is reasonable. Yes. It is an all-out war approach. Yes. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Yes. It doesn't matter how much people are going to cry on that day. There will be no mercy. Mm-hmm. Yes. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Yes. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> I think for the sake of the message, let's end here. We want to see if our people are following. Yes. Prosper says his judgment, even when people die, are still righteous. He makes war in righteousness. Sympathy says, now thunder is giving us warning of the light. What so narrow to Musuya could not see it see. A overseer about a righteous war. His ways are righteous always. Yes. Natasha, are good to know mercy. Yes, there will be no mercy. Mm-hmm. There will be no mercy. Jesus, thou son of David, have <laughs> mercy <laughs> on me. <laughs> Patimias, the son of Timaeus, <laughs> he called for mercy at the right time. Mm-hmm. My prayer is you may find mercy in this second day, yes. in these Days of mercy. Yes. In this New Testament era, yes. because New Testament era, do you know the day two? Mm-hmm. It's a dispensation. Yes. If you ask Daniel, he says it's a week. You don't know how he's calculating. Mm-hmm. The last week. <laughs> Verse 12 and 13. Yes. His eyes were as a flame of fire, mm-hmm. and on his head were many crowns. Mm-hmm. And he had a name written yes. that no man knew but he himself. Yes. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped with in blood. And his name is called the, the word, word of, of God. God. <laughs> so if you are not careful, Brother Nelson, we have so many people who are lazy. Yes. <laughs> there they would think that verse 12 and 13 are contradicting each other. Mm-hmm. They will say, verse 12, he says, no man knows that name but he himself. Mm-hmm. But verse 13 tells us that the name is the word of God. Mm-hmm. And people will say, well, so Chuenga, the name is known, the name is the word of God. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are following the John series, series yes. you will know that the word of oh, God, God is his name yeah. in eternity out, out of, of time. time. Yes. Before the beginning yes. of creation yes. before. and before the beginning yes. of the gospel. Mm-hmm. Yes. But let us not use that approach because others may never have listened to the John series earlier messages. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let us be a little bit more analytical Mm-hmm. and forensic in the study of these two verses. Yes. Verse 12b says, He had a yeah, name yeah. written which no man knew yes. but he himself. Yeah. Yes. I want us to highlight the word had mm-hmm. and the word knew. Mm-hmm. Yes. They are in the past tense. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. He had mm-hmm. a name written. Mm-hmm. Yes which no man knew, yeah. yes. which means when John saw him coming out in that future past, yes. because it's going to happen in, in the future, future. Yeah. But, but John it saw it after it had happened. Yeah. Yes. So John, John saw judgment in yes. retrospect, yes. which had not yet happened. Mm. And that is not the first time it happened. Go and read Daniel. Yes. Daniel saw Jesus arriving into heaven. Yes. yes. But Jesus had not even come on earth. Yes. <laughs> in retrospect, <laughs> for a simple reason, the yes. lamb was slain yes. from the foundation of the world. Yes. So the, the script was there in heaven. Yes. Are, are you following? Yes. I know these things may be heavy for some, but 
try to, to, to slow down. So, he had a name mm -hmm. which no many knew, yeah. which means at the time judgment, at the time the third dispensation was launched, yes. the name that executed that dispensation was not known mm -hmm. according to John's vision. Mm -hmm. Verse 13 now says, well, he was clothed yes. with a vesture dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. He is still referring to that day. Yes. yes. And he says his name is called the word of God. God. Yes. What is John talking about? Mm -hmm. John is now telling us that the man who shall come to execute judgment with an unknown name yet, yes. a yet to be revealed name. name. He is called the word of God. Dear we are, we are. I John 1, we are. In the beginning was the word. Yes. The word was with God. Yes. The word was God. Dear, I shall we are. Tonga Nika. Kungo to Musi, we are beds. Starachura and Gai Nar. Hari they say Asadra Buddha. Yes. That's why he didn't say his name was called. Mm -mm. His name was the word of God. Mm -hmm. He said his name is the, the word, word of, of God. God. Yes. What it means to those who are slow in understanding. What it means is when John wrote, mm -hmm. he knew him. Mm -hmm. And the name he could use to identify him yes. is the word of God. Yes. yes. But the word, the name that he shall have when judgment day is unveiled, mm -hmm. no man knows that name yes. but himself. Yes. Mkumane also. Zinga nzi zaita kumplikete. Zawa mathematical. Great. Wanwari kuta akiuza kakuti kujihara ya mvangeri lava too academic. Iso, arina kubo virara kangari siri academic. Yes. But really academic in a spiritual sense. Yes. Jesus came as a rabbi. Mm -hmm. The word rabbi means teacher. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know God, there's only one method. It's a classroom method. Yes. You have to learn. Yes. Can you say it in your own words? I can sense right now that you have so many brethren would not understand why is it that in verse 12 he says the name is not known by any man mm -hmm. but he himself. But in verse 13 he says, well, he is called the word of God. Mm -hmm. Can you s clarify it in your own words? Pastor will use Shona to help our brethren. Yes. Uh, he, what he's saying is uh, the name is not known uh, in this sense that when he's going to come as a judge, he will be taking a different form than which he took when he was a lamp and uh, when he, he functioned in the New Testament as a savior. So that name is not known. And in that function, he's picking his name uh, in verse 13 now as the word of God, as he's speaking Jesus or our Lord, the word now outside uh, the time environment which we have. So he's picking him from eternity out of time. There is known as the word of God, as in from uh, John, John chapter 1, verse 1. So the word of God there, if you check, uh, it's in capital letters, meaning to say it's God, uh, is the word not as in the gospel, but it is the word of God as in the personality of uh, our Lord or God outside, uh, outside time. So it's eternity out, outside time. Uh, referring to him now as the word of God. So that name is not known uh, is in uh, verse 12. So is, is the verses are not contradicting themselves. It's just a reference which he used to say is the word of God, meaning to say is our Lord outside uh, the time, outside the environment which we can understand him as a savior or as a lamb. So... Let's say Mark Zuckerberg is the CEO of Facebook. Yes. The word CEO is a title. Yes. yes. Mark Zuckerberg is his personal name. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we say CEO, mm -hmm. we have to define where this function of a CEO 
is executed? The yes. answer is at Facebook. Yes. So the Facebook company is where Mark Zuckerberg is known yes. as a CEO. Yes. But ordinarily, everyone knows him, including his parents, including his boy childhood friends. They know him as Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. So when he said his name is called the word of God, in verse 13, he is telling us, well, naturally, this is the person. Mm -hmm. But what we don't know is when he gets a job to judge and make war, mm -hmm. what title is he going to come with? Yes. What names are we going to see him with? Mm -hmm. Yes. You get it now? Yes. yes. I hope it's clear, Pastor. Yes. Munga shuta ora ni shona. Ma face has ku piki sana era. Shamba nzi zita arna ano riziva ra abunza ano nzi word of God. Muno ra vasi. Ah, ni yenge chita ogo yenge iri kunzi paruku ya. Achi nzi aruku ya ri judge, ri mutongi. Achi nzi maziso agi aninga chiputa moto. Arugunzi, ane zita raja wea naru. Asi zita iri. Rakanga rakato nyuru wakari. Nuno zikano wakari. Asi kuzikano wakari nungo zikano wana iye bedzi murizu waru. Arina mungwe ataa kuriziva. Asi nuno to zikano waraka nyuru wakari. Ndo saka ranga richinzi. Lekanzi, he had a name. That no many knew. Kutisita rakanga wea naru. Arina mungu airi ziva. Saka pa verse 13 Paruso taurwa nyae kunzi Sitara keri nonzi Shoko ramwari Ndipo pae patuku nzitaka zizis kwa isu John Siris chitanga pa verse 1 Sitara nyae kutin The beginning was the word Saka word Rukutaurwa word of God Raitaurwa kui Ten it out of time Singa zwe ama indi Munga guna udibasira kuti Ten it out of time Inorewa kuti kusinga peri Kusina nguwa ere, kana tindino itichi, kuti iko oko ndo kwa isi. Kusinga peri kunze kwe nguwa. Yes, kusinga peri kunze kwe nguwa. Iko oko, kwa ndo kwa kanga ari, ari wed. Iye ya chizi kano wa isi wed, ari kuwea yezi nezi. Asuma wiri la ari kuwea, asuma tia kuzi kano wa nevanu, sitara aki. Murizi waro bezi ndia nuriziva. Asuma tino ziva ndiche kuti, anonzi iye ya kanga ari kwa kusinga peri. Yes. So maybe what he's saying is <laughs> all we understand is yes. he, he will be in the form of glory that he had outside the time. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's read a little further in Revelation 19. Yes. To just emphasize that on that particular day, yes. there will be two venues in one place mm -hmm. the judgment hall yes. and the marriage hall. Yes. yes. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treated the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King mm -hmm. of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. So on that day, yes. the demons are going to be invited to supper. <laughs> yes. God shall cook a meal <laughs> for the demons. Yes. The fowls that fly in the midst of heaven yes. are demons. You can you can go and verify it with uh, Ephesians 6, 12, and 13. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the loud voice was coming from the angel. Yes. yes. It, it cried aloud and it said to the demons, come and gather yourselves together. Mm -hmm. God has prepared a supper for you. Yes which means demons are going to eat on that day. Yes. What are mm -hmm. they going to eat? <laughs> Verse 18. 
that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and, the, and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. Come and eat men. Mm -hmm. Yes. Demons are going to be invited to a supper. Yeah. And what is going to be on the menu on that very day? These are not uh, prawns and shrimp. Mm. <laughs> there is going to be flesh of oh, men. Yes. Do you need any food? Japu amadimoni mziwo yo. Yes. Ah, this is that daruku gazira food ya ch. Yes. Sapa ya ch dimari. Ah yeah. Yeah. We say man in Zara we kuchikav. Yes. Kings are going to be on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> Captains and mighty men. Yes. They are going to be on the menu on that day. Yes. Verse 19. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. Yes. And against his army. Yes. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, yes. and them that worshipped his image. Yes. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Yes. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And all the fowls. So the one who sat on the horse, who was it? He who sat he, he who sat on the throne? Yes. Who was he? The King of, of kings. kings. Yes. The Lord of Lords. Yes. yes. You remember First Timothy six sixteen. Yes. yes. For verse fifteen. Yes. yes. He is the only potentate. Yes. yes. He is the King of kings mm -hmm. and the Lord of Lords. Yes. yes. He is the one slaying mm -hmm. the kings and the captains and the nobles. Yes. yes. With the sword that is coming out of his mouth. Yes. And the demons are following after him and they are eating flesh. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Iso mishano na kutiparuku nzishiri zaewu ya zishiri ka. Inenge yaba life after judgment. All right. Kana maenda kwa adesi, maenda kuzivaro moto. Yes. Kwa mne maku gara ya zwenyu yes. kai koko. Yes. Sata nani nga jinzi wa isha ya wanguwe kunyazo pari za hindi chipari za opa. <laughs> chipari za shako full time. Yes. Dopa yani nga achitawra manja, achidada zisinga ite. <laughs> Achiseka kutumaiti muda kufaka imba. Amuna kusenge maka wakuleta kosti. Ezu no ereta, tirite sekuru. Uereta weju, uri kupi. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine uru kwa adesa po wanguwe euda. Mm -hmm. Chimwe chidimoni chova chati, mm-mm, ereda, ereda. Tiritese. Maita u ereda kuzayo javairi wala ereko. Chobo gara gara chati guti guti. Archbishop. Archbishop. Waka waka wana pa vesta ati. Acha kutaka ni madimoni kuzazu. Acha kuta matemoni. Uh, yeah. Yes. Now, let's remember, we want to preach about Kana, mm -hmm. but we are focusing on the marriage. Yes. But we have to distinguish the two venues. Yes. There's going to be the marriage hall, and there's going to be the judgment hall. Yes. yes. On the judgment hall, Read Revelation 19. Mm -hmm. That's where you are going to see what will be happening on the judgment hall. Yes. If you are not sure, go to Revelation 20 mm -hmm. from verse 11. Yes. Judgment can I see God's work. I will not turn away. I will not turn judgment hall. But you never know what you go. Ah, just to say, you can't. You will not go. 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 You will
Ajusti zaruko, vache ne mu judgment wo, vane nge vasi mo. The saints will not be in the judgment hall. Oh, yes. Ah, what about Matthew 25? All nations shall be gathered before him. <laughs> All nations. Are you forgetting that the saints belong to one All nation? Yes. yes. Revelation 20, 11, And I saw a great white throne. Yes. yes. And him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for so them. So you remember, Pastor, I was saying, mm -hmm. when he comes to judge the world, yes. he shall ask for privacy. Mm -hmm. He shall say to the earth, excuse mm -hmm. us. Yes. <laughs> we have a very important matter here. Yes. We don't need your distractions anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so others may be asking, where did you get it from? Yes. There is the scripture. Yes. The moment he sat on the judgment seat, mm -hmm. the heaven and the earth will yes. flee away. Yes. Jia shukuti saka ruko America vacha wia kuno ereku zotongwa ne su kuno ipa pono ngoshitu kuno uruta ora kupi kumaruku India vacha wia ere kuma Muslim mano ya ere kuno ku Africa ah Africa ipigo. Africa ipigo, iwewe imbo mira kutawura zinshaka wanda. Ngocha ka baibere, ne pen, ne notebook. Umbo nyara. Yes. Jia, shukuti wana wacha unga na kupi. Urukufunga uti wedi ya kutu kupi rine rikishanda msiwe. Yes. The day he comes, the way to venue. We would lose yes. relevance. Yes. He will become the venue. Dopa venue pacho. Unusha would was you can say pap. Saka take it she shanded, eh? Saka my pilot sending us in a new judgment. You go. Pada trinket, she go to go. She didn't sing up a darama ticket. Saka Jesu wa nga ashitaura langwe jipi, pacha tonga nyika. Nekutu kuniva nutaura shiduchika, kuwa no sutaura varuku Scandinavia, vane shungoso, vane taura iko. Ininde njitaura shangu chitonga, handizuta asha taura nenine chitonga ere. Chitonga msuwa ano uya, checha eda. There will be no Dutch language, there will be no... The English language, or there will be no the Greek language or yes, the Latin language. Yes. These languages are part of the earth. Yes. When he excuses the earth yes. from his presence, mm -hmm. everything that belongs to the earth will flee from him. Yes. So you are asking questions based on solid ignorance. Mm -hmm. It becomes a stumbling block <laughs> to your learning. Yes. Activities. Kwa mai wangu, they doubt in this whole today. This is gonna go on. It was my wangu aga fuck dara. Ini da kango zaro. My wangu aji vaf. Ando bona mai wangu. Saka ndugu fungo dpa judgmenti. Nza tinda tungo di bocha ga mai wangu. Mama. When did I go to mama? Zero runs if we take excuses. Yeah. Ah, now my man, go go or go to get married. Go go and what in the oka? Did not want to tell you I'm going to not marry a sweet romantic. Yeah. Why did I go to the theater? Not so good. I'm. Uru uru she go to. Uru to go to number four. Oga rings. I'm sweet. Te te. Diana no zade. The earth will pass away. Yes. The world will pass away. But my words will never pass away. So the world, the word world in Matthew 24, verse 35, mm -hmm. is not referring to the universe. Yes. The planetary platform mm -hmm. of existence and function. No, mm -hmm. it's not referring to the cosmos. Yes. It's referring to the system mm -hmm. that governs the way of life. Oh, yes. That's what the word earth yes. means or world. It, it yes. means the systems of this world. Oh, yes. yes. 
they will pass away. Mm. <laughs> and if you were asking when, the answer is Revelation 20, verse 11. Yeah. Yes. You know, Jay says, or go from what Jaga Kosha is. Asata Tanga Gutonga, Jay Zatakatika Gudara. Yes. But most of the Zagos know the science of Buddha Pachin, or Gundai to Zigo. Kututor and Daguna Matam Rumong and Jirambiza. Now, when Zaja go to Rumong, and as a zippo. Paripangosara, you will, Naguna Matam. Kutu Fungo Tintam Rurwa. Could you go to the room? We go. <laughs> that's why, for those who study the scriptures, that's why you find that in Revelation 20, the standard of judgment was never men's activities. Yes. It was the book of life. Yes. For those who study the scripture, but yes. let's not go there. Let's read it up to verse 15. Right. Let's start again from verse 11. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. So when judgment is set, yes, yes. there will be no earth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there will be no planetary environments, yes. Yes. or planetary environments. They use different um, mm -hmm. pronunciations yes. depending on whether they are using... The, the, the American English mm -hmm. or the British English. Some mm -hmm. say planetorial, some say planetaria. Mm -hmm. They are both correct. But what I'm saying is, whether you are talking about the Mars, the moon, the atmosphere, the sky, this is what the word heaven is referring to. It is referring to the celestial environment. Yes. Yes. It's referring to the extraterrestrial environment. Yes. It is referring to the atmospheric environment. Yes. So the moment judgment is set, mm -hmm. the earth will not be chased away from his presence. Yes. yes. The earth will be running for its own safety. Yes. Ana kushika kati ndoku uraya earth unonzwa. Earth yo vyatanga kutiza so. Earth ya kangoti jimona garapa chigaro so. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> 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 As is Mugango was one hour, you say, Muno, Muno, no, 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 I just want to run to So I said, So I got a dog. I did. 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 The purpose of, of showing you these things mm -hmm. is for you to understand what was he doing at the Kana wedding. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are not deviating from the message you are going to see very soon. Yes. yes. So the things that are causing you to loathe the Lord, to hate the Lord, to be disinterested in the Lord, 
-hmm. You see, there are people who are just generally uninterested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't really have anything against church. Yes. The word going to church, we going to listen to a pastor or anything. They are just generally in apathy. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are cold. Yes. They find the gospel issues boring. Mm -hmm. They find gospel issues a waste of time. They think only people, we have nothing important to do. Yes. You see, there are people who believe if you are busy enough in your life, you don't need to go to church. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have so many things which are important to them. And if you look at their daily schedules, you will understand true to, to their word, these people are busy. We yes. have to give them the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what I want us to understand is that whatever it is that is um, distracting them from yes. the very, the most important thing on earth, their relationship with their creator, yes. those things are going to disappear Yes. Before judgment starts. It's, it's, I think it's very unfair. I was thinking about it and I thought if we could write a petition mm -hmm. to say, Lord, can you delay the moving away of the earth mm -hmm. and say, let us do it mm -hmm. and the earth must remain mm -hmm. and then the earth will flee after judgment. Mm -hmm. It would make sense mm -hmm. because the people's excuses Yes. will be there to look at them, to point at them. You see, mm -hmm. this is what stopped yeah. me. This is, you know, I was a CEO at that company. So that, you see that big building there, that tall <laughs> building there. I was the managing director there. Yeah. And I had so many meetings to do, mm -hmm. you know, as a CEO, board meetings and so forth. If the earth was going to be there yes. to witness judgment, mm -hmm it would make it less heavy burden on you <laughs> as far as your condemnation is concerned. You are going to be left with the judge. The world that you loved so dearly mm -hmm. we will not be there for you to point to it and say, those were my distractions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And that's why Revelation 19 says it's a righteous judgment. <clears throat> yes. yes. The beauty of this world, whatever you think is beautiful, mm -hmm. whatever you think is of value in this world, yes. it will flee mm -hmm. before judgment starts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nyama moviri watu chao nyama wewe na wewe dio ni kaya juu ni kati zaidi. Even your very body, yes. we will not be there on judgment day. Mm -hmm. yes. Judgment is going to be done on spirits that are rebellious. So, apostle, when you mentioned the body. If it were there, then you could say, Lord, you can see I was not well. That body <laughs> will be sick or that body was blind so I couldn't go to the church or whatever. I couldn't listen to your word because of that body. And those who were seduced by beautiful women yes, who say, yes. look at that one. one. <laughs> How could I resist such a temptation? <laughs> that one was my demon lord. <laughs> And I think you are complicit in my errors. How could you create such a living angel like that one? I couldn't resist. Yeah. Yeah. Bida, era, bida, bida. If I'm going mirror after every hour, I'm going to go mirror so. <laughs> yeah. 
So iyo nyika pache zayo, again tori mashoka ya neshona, iyo nyika pache zayo, yes. yaka to tanga kudara, kutora mm. zume zaju. Yes. Saka msiwo yu ini kesi nga tore jese, ini kesi nga kolekta mabalanza aga saka. <laughs> Nika, excuse me, thank you for coming to the No, I. Is the Wakambetu kwa operation ukadimbu wa ura. Mapisi ya ura wako. Aga tumbu turu wafti na nyika. Saka msiwa nyika echa nkuti. Chukitele faster faster baba. Kupenzisa. Nda nkutona diende. Mamsukuwa na irecheri kukazi kwa. Aga kutuwa shikirezi na jikare wa pa. Afanyi na kukare ndi chiri pano. Nkwondi pa ije jindiende. Mapepa uru kuhisa maziru ya. Uchiti ma certificate zangwa. Inika yo ya 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 na kuti muti wo ya wakangoti wa zvinhu zvisa musoro ndoka zvakupinda musoro katufunga kuti wa something nebepa rakatorwa pamuti rekaiswa chimwe chisi une chimwe chidindo ne signature imwe munhu zvese izvo zvenyika ichatora yes ino kuti no dzo sai kuno baba ndida kuti ndingoenda imimi makazvinzi kwazvichitaura kudhara kuti ivhuro fana kutakura zvinhu zvaro pe kuno ndiende Chinu chese chaka vamuvu Zosai kuno Saka Lama wedu wakatoe ndaishe Shivaka zoke na kufu Pese patiri kuno viga pepe Tuku zosera And while least we are burying our dead ones We are The earth is preparing to go Yes <laughs> Let us read Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 7. While well, least we are burying our dead ones. Yes. We are the, the earth is taking its bags. Yes. <laughs> you know what you do? You dig a grave, you put mm. a body, yes. you close it. Yes. Mm. What do you do when you are picking? You open, open. a bag, you pick your clothes, and you close, close it. it. <laughs> That's what the earth is doing. The earth is packing its bags right mm. now. As I talk to you right now, the board you are looking at right now yes. is also it's very pegged. soon going to be pegged. Yes. When mm. judgment happens, the earth is going to carry everything mm. that was put in it. Yes. No one is going to remain <laughs> with a cobble. Mm -hmm. yes. Then shall the dust return Ten. to the earth as yes. it was. Yes. And the yes. spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Mm -hmm. Compare this with the first Timothy chapter 6, verse 7. Mm -hmm. You will enjoy the word of God. Yes. You yes. have never heard these things before. Mm -hmm. For we brought nothing into, into this world. Into <laughs> yes, Satan. Yes. <laughs> and it is certain, certain. Yes. we can get nothing out. Yes. yes. Did you come with this body? No, no you did it. Ah, una umba yani mu viru no iba ni kabara. Mu viru wagato zo ude kwa wa mudo mbara maema kumu viru. Tino toshi ziva kuto mu viru waga ba papi. Dumbara cho foot ni kaka kupa mu viru ni kaka chere wa foot. Iwono fuko tindo par pa uno sara wa kumu viru. Kana dumbara kaka gadzira mu viru wa yori si si po. Raka takuru wa rekezwa foot ni raka torongi nzwa nje. Ma Victoria ato tawari wedi utu kuviga baada ya tuta kama rongeza tu matawara baada ya ma karanga ano tuta kama rongeza aka rongezwa kumari ndai mazita tego kati si ndugu na kuti mazise ni asisi na kuta shaka na ma kufundu kwa kutuko ya mama tika na wana kuta shika si. So, Brother Nelson, yes, sir. the earth shall flee. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it will be you and the judge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything that belongs to the earth that is on you right now, yes. it is not going to stand before the judge. Mm -hmm. Yes. This suit shall not stand before the judge. Yes. 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 
Let's start afresh, Revelation 20, 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Now, 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 I think... We don't need to read it up to verse 15 for the sake of our time. Yes. Who was judged? The mm. dead. The dead, dead were judged. Mm -hmm. I saw the dead. Yes. Small and great. Mm -hmm. Standing before God. Yes. Don't Yes. 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 Waka mira pamberi pamangar. Yes. Bashaka vwa umbe. Ne bashaka vwa dik. Yes. Daka una wakafa. Yes. Waka mira pamberi pamangar. Wakafa vwa umbe. Yes. Ne wakafa vwa dik. Yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Now, the 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 reason why I wanted you to to hear this verse is because I had just given you knowledge to the effect that the bride of Christ shall never be found in the judgment hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in verse 11, Jesus is sitting on the judgment seat. Mm -hmm. Judgment is starting. Yes. Our question was, who is in attendance? Do we see saints attending the judgment in the judgment hall? Mm -hmm. In other words, do we see the living yes. standing yes. before God to be judged? Mm. Yes. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 mm -hmm. tells us that once one is saved, yes. one is no longer dead. Yes. Yes. He is now alive. Yes. yes. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh yes. as he quickened it together with him having forgiven you all trespasses we were dead yes but the deadness yes that apostle paul is addressing yes is not addressing the mortuary death yes or the grave or the cemetery death yes he is talking about the death that god pronounced upon adam yes, yes. in verse 17 of Genesis chapter 2. Yes. You may eat of every tree in the garden, mm -hmm. but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, yes. thou shalt not eat of it. Yes. For in the day that thou shalt eat thereof, thou I shalt surely die. Yes. So this is spiritual death. Your spirit is dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it is far away from God. Yes. yes. Your spirit is dead because it has been ostracized from the presence of God. Yes. Your spirit is dead because it has no relationship with God. Your spirit is dead because there is nothing that is in that spirit. Yes. yes. So this is the dead that Revelation 20 is talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. He is not talking about those who are at, at Mbuzi Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Those are not the ones who were standing before God. Mm -hmm. He is referring to those who had no Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in them, yes. whose sins were not covered, who were not forgiven, yes. those who were not given sonship, those who were not resurrected, mm -hmm. according to Colossians 2.13. Mm -hmm. The word quickened, it means resurrected. Yes. You were dead in your sins. Mm -hmm. What happened? Jesus resurrected you. Mm -hmm. How? By forgiving you of your trespasses. Yes. You can look at Ephesians 2, yes. 1 to 5. Yes. It says the same. But we want to focus on who attended mm -hmm. judgment in the judgment mm -hmm. hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to scripture, the dead. Yes. yes. The question is, where are the quickened ones? Mm -hmm. Where are the living ones? Mm -hmm. yes. Where is the bride? Mm -hmm. yeah. The bride is not in the judgment hall. Yes. 
the bride is in the marriage hall. Yes. yes. It's clear now. Yes. yes. Let's finish it. Let's finish it for the sake of others. So the dead yes. start afresh from Vestkov, yes. who was standing before God. Yes. Because we have those who were quickened yes. together with Christ, yes. having been forgiven of their trespasses yes. in Colossians 2.13. Those are no longer dead. Yes. Those are now alive. Yes. yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Are they the ones who are standing before God? No. no. Yes. Those who are standing before God are not the alive ones, yes. the living ones, the quickened ones, the resurrected ones. The ones standing before God yes. are the dead. Yes. So if you are not born again, even as you are walking today, yes. you are dead before God. Yes. When God spoke to Adam in Genesis chapter 3, mm -hmm. Adam had died. Mm -hmm. But he had the power and the energy to reply and say to God, the wife you gave me, she gave me that stupid fruit and I ate it. <laughs> dead but talking. Yes. Dead but walking. walking. Dead but getting married mm -hmm. and desiring children with dead women. You are a dead spirit mm. living in a living flesh. That's the state of a sinner. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Revelation 20 is not talking about Varimakuva. Mm -hmm. Revelation 20 verse 12, Irgutara Pamsorope, Mweya Yakafa, Inogara Munyama, Menu. Yes. Asiva Kanga Buddha, Soka Munyama, Panetwa judgment, remember. Verse 11, Nyamene ngeato tiza kudara. Mwea wea wakafa, unongo sara wakafa. Oh yes. As wakafa kudaro, unofamba. Chino mira pa meri pa mwari. Yes. Verse 12 again. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. So judgment is a, an affair of the dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. The sea gave up what? The dead. dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Death and hell delivered what? what? The, the dead. dead. Yes. yes. And who was judged according to their works? Yeah. The dead, dead were judged. Yes. yes. The living ones are excused. Yes. They are not there. Yes. Verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And yes. whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So he didn't waste time asking how many cigarettes were you smoking <laughs> each day? <laughs> how could you smoke 20 cigarettes in one day? Hey. Huh? Did you have a chimney on your nose? <laughs> He's not going to ask you those questions. He's simply going to say, well, unga na imeze ma, unga na ere, tiripa no, ta tirima bishop, shut up. Kwe we we, I did that, did it every day, garapas. Chikon zero, chanjiri kukuti, vom, zvarumo te zezish. Okay. Yes. Isaiwanu <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Dofu kama buku ya msanga ano iwayo. Zanu ni MDC. The book of life was written before yes. the foundation of the earth. Yes. According to Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. Yes. And Revelation chapter 17 verse, verse 8. And yes. second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Yes. We were chosen in God before the foundation of the world. Yes. Make no Pro- mistake. Yes. Make no mistake about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Vanu a Amusima kutinye pera ere. Amusima kurasika ere. Let's read first of all Revelation 17 verse 8. Mm-hmm. We want to look at when was the book of life yes. written. Yes. yes. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit yes. and go into perdition and they that were on the earth shall wander whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is when was the book of life written <laughs> from, from the, foundation. the yes. foundation of the world yes. Yes. the word from does not mean that when the foundation of the world was made that's when he started writing <laughs> no it's, it's it's a figure of speech yes it means before yes mm-hmm. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 to 9. Yes. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear. Yes. Mm-hmm. But of power and of love and, and of a sound love. mind. Yes. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner. Mm-hmm. Yes. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Yes. Yes. Who hath saved us yes. and called us with an holy, holy calling, calling. Yes. not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, yes. which was given us in Christ Jesus yes. before the, the world, world began. began. Yes. Yes. It's very clear. Yes. We were chosen before the world began. Yes. Before, not during. <laughs> Aya. Saka chakato tangwa kuitwa na mwari ibukira upenyu. Adam asatasikwa. Yes. Ipo ndopo ono kwa kufunga kuti zvino zvati nonzi talent. Saka kana Adam anga asatasikwa zitanda kapwa na mai. Ko zitara cho rakanyorwa ndiripi manje. Kuti ndino nitaro. Kuti talent. Ha? Papa changona. Kati ngoti ririmo. Kuti ndiripi chairo ndingangozi. Uno kona kuti ta stress uita zvoti rakanyorwa mbukiro penyu nderipi. Ah it comes very clear. Iyo yo si anana. Mm. Iwo wakanyorwa mbukiro penyu ingozi vai zvozvo chete. Yes. Kuti wakanyorwa se koka no wakanyorwa ne DNA yemwe ya wako. Mm. What if the name that is in the book of life is your spiritual DNA? Yes. was not found written in the book of life yes was cast into the lake of fire yes. he says i don't want to waste time you know yes. i've got another hole where i'm supposed to do my marriage there <laughs> those are the people who need me more time mm. you are not going to waste my time yeah i'm not going to ask you about your adulteries or your fornications or your drunkenness or your deceptions or your thefts Yes. The reason why you are getting into the lake of fire your name is not written in the book of life. Yes. Simple. Mm. That's the end of it. Zvino zvese zvawaiita izvikaizvo. Zvaite kuti karoti wanga usimo mbukiro wepenyu. Yes. Ne wanga uri mahaimbodaro. Mavavira waiita vhangiri chiparidzwa yaya. Aitwe kae nakanyorwa mbukiro penyu. Yes. 
Tu pono zitaka kuti eh nai ipa sa zviri zvega zviya man. Adimono oti a isi tunokugamishira ikuno nemufaro. Mhm. Tichatsva takawanda. Musiano wedu bedzi unondiri wadza ndo mashoko anega itorwa na Satan. Chinonjiri wadza bedzi nini? Ndichekuti pandaka tadza inini? Ndakanyimwa mukano kutendeuka. Imi mese muri munhu makaupiwa si muri munhu chete moyo yenyakaoma. Ndobota taka kuti sikabva kuti ah. Ko zvandiri wese kudarika Satan. Because the devil was never given a chance to repent. Yes. yes. But you are going to be with him. Mm. Even though God has given you so many chances to repent. Yes. It's going to be very painful. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Eh, do you know what I mean? I'm not in my group, I'm not in my group. I'm not in my group, I'm not in my group. Mune mine ma mune mine ma words mune mine ma sections depending ne level yako kuti kune tori ne seniority kwa des kwa des amukugara makaenzana kudenga kune seniority kudzwa romoto futi kune seniority and ono verenga methu 11 unobva naye pa 20 unzi kuti shaka tikudi pa musoro pe ikora zine bedside unozviona kuti seniority iriko yes. kwa des even by mid 13 mabandu runofunga kuti ndei kana kusina zviyero nemazera mm. all right mid 22 1 to 14 yes and jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come again he sent forth other servants saying tell them which are bidden behold i have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready come unto the marriage but they made light of it and went their ways one to his farm another to his merchandise and the remnant took his servants and and treated them spitefully and slew them but when the king heard thereof he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city then said he to his servants the wedding is ready but they which were bidden were not worthy go ye therefore into the highways and as many as you shall find bid to the marriage invite to the marriage yes so those servants went out into the highways so these are invitations yes. come to the marriage yes if you remember verse 9 of revelation um, 19 yes it said blessed yes. are they yes. which are invited to the marriage supper of the lamb yes, yes. And he said unto me, these things are true sayings of God. Yes. Vakaropa fadzwa, vakadanwa, kumutambo wekuwana, wegwayana. Yes. So already the dandaids and the fools who are trying to peddle the lie that men can choose Jesus are already rebutted yes. by that scripture there yes. yes because for you to attend the marriage mm-hmm. you attend by invitation yes. yes which means if you are going to be invited mm-hmm. the one who is exercising a choice yes. is not the invitee mm-hmm. but the one inviting yes. yes if he doesn't want you to attend he will simply not invite yes. you yes. that's why verse 9 says blessed are they yes. which are called Old. yes mm-hmm. You see? Yes. It's a blessing to be called. Oh yes. Yes. Continue pastor at that scripture. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as men as they found, both bad and good. Yes. And the wedding was finished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, "Friend, how Camest thou in hither 
not having a wedding garment, and he was speechless. Now, the wedding hall was full. Yes. yes. That's one thing you should understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. The wedding hall was it's full. full. Mm -hmm. Yes. What verse was that, Pastor? That's yes. verse 10. Verse number 10. Yes. yes. Verse number 10 says, the wedding, wedding was, was finished, finished with, with the guests. guests. Yes. yes. It simply means the wedding hall was full. Yes. yes. But I want us to remember that it's not everyone who is going to attend the wedding. Yes. yes. Which means the size of the hall mm -hmm. is that which determines how many shall be invited. Yes. yes. We do that with our own functions. If you are doing a function, yes. you hire a wall. Mm -hmm. They tell you this wall can only accommodate 100 sitting guests. Yes. You can't invite 300 guests mm -hmm. if the wall can only accommodate 100 guests. Yes. So the one who invites, the number of his guests are determined by his venue. Mm -hmm. The guest is not the one who determines which venue to go to. Yes. Is the one who is running the function. Yes. yes. The one who's holding the function. Yes. Is the one who prepares the venue. Mm -hmm. So the venue that was prepared is the one that determines how many guests are to be invited. Yes. yes. Same with the Noah Ark. Mm -hmm. The number of animals that entered into the Ark were not determined by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were determined by Noah. Mm -hmm. The dimensions of the ark mm -hmm. are the ones which determined how many animals entered the ark. Yes. yes. So if you find yourself repulsive to the gospel, don't deceive yourself that the marriage wall shall be empty. <laughs> if you can't be born again, mm -hmm. if you don't want to be to be saved, if you are rejecting the message we are preaching, don't deceive yourself mm -hmm. that the marriage wall shall be empty. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's too small. Yes. 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 Brother Rezo, yes, Can you repeat these words? That you are the one who is going to fill the marriage hall. Yes. yes. Highlight that part, verse 10b. Yes, we are the one who are going to finish the hall, uh, the wedding hall. Toys Adza. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pastor Toy does it? Toy is at the wedding hall. Yes. Wedding hall, teacher is at the Jesus. Yes. Imima, Muskuzo, we are Mutorna Jibo. That matters, Father. Muno Zad, whatever that is. Yes. So the chosen ones, the yes. called ones, yes. the invited ones, mm -hmm. they are enough mm -hmm. to fill the marriage wall. Yes. yes. So if you find yourself not believing the way then you are you are feeling stadiums in false churches there, mm -hmm. then you think Jesus is going to be embarrassed with a small turnout of invited guests <laughs> on the marriage day. I am very sorry to disappoint you. Oh yes. You are the one who is going to be embarrassed on that day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, kuna kusina kazara kwa my boy, I think I should have seen you. You won't go to jail with high. Who is the other devil? To no simple gemmas, and we are young. The wedding was a fool, the yes. war was a fool mm. with the guests. Yes. Mm. Which means God is going to harvest enough souls for the places reserved for the saints yes. in heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. If God has reserved one billion people to enter heaven, mm -hmm. and if you don't want to believe the word, yes. don't deceive yourself mm -hmm. that God shall fail to make his number. Yes. No, you cannot be that naive. You cannot be that naive. Yes. Yes. Your naivety is reaching astronomical levels. I think you need some psychological help. <laughs> God, the creator of mankind, yes. you think he can fail? 
to prick the hearts of his chosen yeah. that they may come to him at his right time. Never. Mm-hmm. No one can work against God's plan. Yes. Yes. Who can resist his will go and read Romans 9. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Ano wa omesa even vachi da utendeuka vano gona vakango ma kuchu kwenye no gozoramba zume seko inda botenda zume wakato omeswa moyo yes vano da kuponeswa vango vachi vakato poneswa vasingade vango vachi vakato uya vachi tuta yes ije shindo varutoni ora manosi je vano tu share utuko hana uzomurova se ifundi zuiya uya vano tu share utuko hana uzomurova se ifundi zuiya uya Uno police kwa futu singade kana achida kuponesa. Hakuna yes. anoramba kuda oh, kwake. Yes. No one can Chopani. resist the will of God. Yes. Mm. So the wedding shall be full. Yes. The wedding venue shall mm. be full. Yes. Don't tell yourself that Jesus shall be embarrassed mm-hmm. with a low turnout yes. of the elect. Mm-hmm. They are going to be fewer than he is expecting never. Yes. If there's something that does not exist in God's vocabulary, mm-hmm. it is the word regret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Verse 19 says, Thou would say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? <laughs> For who hath resisted his, his will? will. Mm-hmm. No man Amen. can yes. resist the will of God. Yes. Zurondi yes. Zuro. Aka Musa moyo wa Cyrus akataka kuburitsa zvipo zvekuno vakatembera kuti zvisare mako asata amboenda unofi kuti kana akagona kuzviita izvo zvozvo nana nebukati nezari chaiko vakatora midziyo ya mungari vakavhava kuti handi tikumboiona ichibatwa midziyo ichadzokera kumba kwayo urofi kuti akatadze kuti ndosa zvidako herewe mungari There are people who are going to surprise this world when they get saved. I'm telling you. Yes. yes. And sometimes I saw a vision in which I remember I was going to share this with you. Mm. I saw a vision in which I was trying to calm the church so that they cannot harass one of the people who troubled us in previous times mm. who got saved. Mm-hmm. And everyone was whispering this cannot be true. He is up to no good. <laughs> This one is a prime suspect. <laughs> Let us give him the last chair in the last row at the back <laughs> of the church. <laughs> This one mm-hmm. believing the word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I was now encouraging everyone, please don't discriminate. God can save anyone. He saved the poor who used to persecute the church. Yes. Leave him alone. Yes. And people were saying, but this one is too much. After all that he did to us, uh, how could you be naive to believe that this one wants to be a child of God? Let me tell you, murderers can be born again. Yes. yes, yes. Mass murderers and terrorists can be saved. Yes. Mm-hmm. There is no one who has sinned too much mm-hmm. that God cannot save them. Yes. Iyo ino tori unyangere futi woga topindi wanao. Yes. Maraka ngo kuteerera chete kuti ha ninga kanyanya ha mwari kana mwari anonzi zvaka anovura moyo but aninga amva uya uya ha uya uya kana uyo moyo waka uvhurike uya uya. Moyo uya uya waka varo kwazva chose. Maraka kuteerera anotaka nekuburitsa iwe munyasha. Yes. Nekuti iwe iwe pa waifunga kuti uri nani. Pano tori nevango vaibeja futi kuti uri wese iwe. Maraka kuda zvakada. Yes. Saga standard yekuti ndiyana anoponeswa inongori grace chat. Zvito mm-hmm. zvavano zvavakaita kare hazvivatadzise kutendoka. Even those who have persecuted us before mm-hmm. if they come we will receive them. Yes. Even those who wanted to kill us mm-hmm. if they come to Jesus yes. honestly yes. with a heart to repent mm-hmm. we will receive them. Yes. yes. We will be a no grudge against them. Yes. Oh yes. We will not start to conduct hearings and say <laughs> you will be saved but we want you to explain how, why were you do why were you so evil Salvation kana ichitwa patange pambetwa dare So what happened he was found a man mm-hmm. who was not putting on the wedding garment what yes. happened mm-hmm. 
And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot. Bind him hand and foot. And take so him So there away. was a trespasser. Mm -hmm. yes. The Lord was simply trying to say, Not even one trespasser yes. shall make it into the marriage hall. Yes. yes. If you are not invited, you are not, not invited. invited. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted to show us that the marriage hall is not the only hall available. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are two holes. You are going to find out. Yes. Find him hand and foot. And take him away. Where should we take him to? And cast him into outer darkness. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So where they, mm -hmm. they were to cast him into, yes. the Lord described it as outer oh, darkness. darkness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is a picture of condemnation, yes. mm -hmm. which means there are two places. Yes. There is the marriage hall mm -hmm. and there is outer darkness. Yes. The judgment hall. Is it clear, right? Yes. Is that on God's right? It's out. Apparently, Jimbo Mbiri. And in both places, there are people. Mm -hmm. There are people in the marriage hall. There are people into outer darkness. Yes. And what is distinguishing these two places is how he treats them, the mm -hmm. Lord himself. Yes. In the marriage hall, he is the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. In the judgment hall, he is a man of war. Yes. Coming to bring out his vengeance upon those that have disobeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5 to 10. Mm -hmm. This scripture is also key. It tells us that when Jesus comes, he's coming to two different places, mm -hmm. two different people for two different activities. Yes. They are going to happen concurrently. Marriage in the wedding hall mm -hmm. and judgment. execution of judgment yes. in the judgment hall. Same time. Yes. Same time. Yes. It's not your choice mm -hmm. yes. where you are going to be found on that particular day. Yes. Which is, is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. You are strengthening the Thessalonian believers yes. against the background of their persecutions. Say yes. six. Saying it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. There is going to be tribulation in the judgment hall. And to you who are troubled, yes. rest with us. We are troubled. We must rest. We must relax. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven uh -huh. with his mighty angels. Uh -huh. yes. So again, yes. the Lord is coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which day is this, Brother Nelson? It's the day of judgment. This is the third day. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the third dispensation. Yes. yes. He shall be revealed yes. from heaven yes. with his mighty angels. Yes. Now, take note of the word revealed. Mm -hmm. If he is coming with the same appearance that he lived here in, in this world for 30 years with, then he doesn't need to be revealed mm -hmm. because the world once having seen him, they are now acquainted mm -hmm. and familiar with him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why does Jesus need to be revealed from heaven? Mm -hmm. The answer is Revelation chapter 19, mm -hmm. yes. verse 12 and 13. Yes. yes. He is coming not only with a different name, but with a different appearance. Yes. yes. The body that we shall see that day, mm -hmm. the world has never seen that body before. Yes. yes. The body that Jesus shall come into this world with, the world has never seen that body yes. before. Yes. It's not just a new name on that third day in brackets, in that third dispensation. Yes. No. He's coming with an appearance mm -hmm. that has never been seen before. Yes. In so he shall be revealed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the world does not know him that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mazona. Yes. yes. 
kushonongoro wao <laughs> kwa ari kuita yes asa tambo ya pano ari chikomba asa tambo ya pano ari judge yes saka ari kutoita zve kushonongorwa mwari vachatomuti chizvishonongora enda nyika inokuona izive kuti une simba zvavakambokona uri zvezha handi zvo zvauri chaizvo yes asikana washika kumwenga wako aunga shike ikoko nehasha wakamirirwa ikoko unoshika ikoko uno uno gamuchira mwenga wako nerudo yes uri kushika ikoko uri murume au ya uzotora mukadzi wake asi kune vavengi vangu ikoko ukashika ku vavengi vangu sambo sekerira kana bichana yeah so the lord shall be revealed yes. from heaven yes. with his mighty angels yes. we are proving that judgment day has two venues yes. Yes. the marriage hall and the judgment hall yes. these are the scriptures yes. yes so verse 7 just like revelation 19 is telling us he is being revealed yes our question is where is he coming and to whom is he coming and how is he coming mm -hmm. yes. let's look at verse 8 in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not god <laughs> <laughs> that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wait, Brother Nelson. Yes. Yes. How is he coming? <laughs> to the, he's coming in to the dead. He is coming in what? In flaming fire, yes. Has anybody ever seen him in flaming fire? Ask Kuya Katakura Moto, Pamanosin's Gisisa. Are Kuya Rimoto? Yes. Kurevuto Kuya Kwaka Choto Chiruto, yes. Anne Choto Char Kuyaka Feka, Ar Kuyaka Feka Moto, yes. Kumira Soka Gara Kwaka Bajigara, so Motoru was you go to even what about no watches is greater about do the Tizuania. No wonder why the heaven, 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 the can the world stand to no, watch no, this? No, 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 it can't. <laughs> if he's coming in flaming fire, yes. that's why the earth shall flee. Yes. yes. Actually, that's what Peter says in Second Peter chapter 3. Yes, yes. he says yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want you to read it again. Mm. He's coming in flaming fire. Yes. yes. But he's coming to whom in <laughs> flaming fire? Mm. That's also very important. Yes. yes. Start a fresh verse 8. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. You see now. Mm -hmm. So the question is, he is coming in flaming fire mm -hmm. to whom? Mm -hmm. yes. To those who know, know not, not God. God. Yes. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very clear, right? Yes. yes. Not those who don't hear. No, 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 no. <laughs> not those who don't write notes. Uh -uh. No. Mm. Those who do not obey. Okay. Yes. So you may think that you are going to be in the marriage hall yes. because you are here today. And the other. But your presence in the preaching of the gospel does not make you an obedient child. Yes. Mm. You need to do what the word is instructing. Yes. Is coming in flaming fire, the Lord Jesus. Yes. To those who do not know God, or to those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Yes. So we preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when you hear it, you are not just expected to write notes and to say amen or, or to say porto. Yes. You are expected to obey it. Yes. Mm -hmm. To put it into action. Yes. yes. To practice what you are hearing. Mm -hmm. Yes. To adhere to the instructions contained in the gospel. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what the Lord expects you to do. Yes. If you are going to make it into the marriage hall. Yes. yes. Whether you have 10 notebooks that are full of notes already, that will not matter on that day. Yes. If you are not obeying the word, go back to the shrines. Go back to the beer hall. You are wasting your time. Mm -hmm. You are used to pastors who plead with you to come to church. I don't mm -hmm. preach like that. Yes. Don't come to church for entertainment. Yes. Come for your sanctification. 
Remember in the admonition, the word is our spiritual soap mm. that cleanses us mm. of our iniquities. Yes. What happens if you get soap, but you don't use it mm. to wash yourself? Mm -hmm. Can you get clean without bathing in water? Mm. You can't. So writing notes is putting buckets of water everywhere in your house, never to go into the bathroom. <laughs> Pesaros is not a good gara, Nima bucket and vraka zara. Sipoiripo, vrairipo, Tauripo. Bathroom, Yajo foot, Yazara, Nima bucket zagaza, Kuto Dudin Jagazra by a pan. Unogo Juno was a good as in vrairip. Yeah. Having water does not make you smart, yes. it doesn't clean you. Yes. You need. To get into the water, mm. yes, you need to wash away <coughs> your sins yes. by the word of God. Mm. Yes, so He's coming in flaming fire, yes. not to everyone, yes. yes, but to the sons of perdition, yes, to the reprobates, to the infidels, yes. to the bastards, mm. to the rebellious ones. Yes. who are not obeying yes. the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, verse 9. What shall we do to them? <laughs> who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? So they shall be punished, but the punishment is called everlasting destruction. Yes. So everlasting destruction... After an hour, destruction in It's an unending punishment. Yes. It's an endless condemnation. Yes. Verse 10. So when, this is what shall happen yes. in the judgment hall. Yes. Watch how he changes his tone in verse number 10 and 11. Yes. So amazing and so spectacular. Yes. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints ah. and to be admired in all them that believe, <laughs> because our testimony among you <laughs> was believed. Let, let's end it there. <laughs> it's very amazing. Yeah. Yes. While list is coming in a flaming fire yeah. to those who are not obeying the gospel. Yes. He shall also come yes. to be glorified in his saints. Yes. And to be admired. Yes. <laughs> Can you admire someone whose eyes are like a flame of fire? No. Can you admire someone who is trading on the wine place of the fierceness of the wrath of God? Mm. You can't admire such a person. Yes. Mm. Which means the one who shall execute judgment mm -hmm. shall have a different appearance mm -hmm. from the one who shall execute mm -hmm. the marriage supper. Yes. One of us here, the bridegroom will be admirable to look upon. Yes. The judge will be terrifying. Yes. Same day, <laughs> different venues. If you ask me, how shall we do two events in one day? Shall we finish judgment first and then come to the wedding? How can one person do two functions at the same time concurrently? I don't know. What I know is what I have taught you. Yes. Ramba uone. Kungo tati zosa gana onje ni buwezi. Se taka fari wa kuku utishitons wa mbude futi. Gati mkwe taeshe mchatu ku judgment wa usia na inako. Yes. Remember Abraham, Lazarus, and the rich man? Yes, yes. There is a big gulf yes. betwixt. Yes. So that those that are there can come and not come yonder. Yes. Brother Nelson, yes, has ma it been clarified to you that judgment is going to happen in two simultaneous events at the same time? Yes. It's and uh, one person doing the, both things but with the different appearances. Yes, and to different people altogether. Yeah. In Revelation chapter 19, we're told that uh, chapter 19 and chapter 20 is the dead who are going to be facing uh, him as a judge. 
in his fierceness and a uh, uh, flaming fire. Then in Second Thessalonians, we are told that it's them who do not obey the gospel and who do not know God. So it's the same people who are dead. And in the parable in Matthew 22, yes. maybe you forgot, those who were in the marriage home, yes. Yes. they were seated. Yes. They were seated. But yes. those who were in outer darkness were yes. bound. Yes. Was a marriage. No one got to us. We got it also. Yes. 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 Wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yes. So those who were in the wedding, they were seated as guests, invited guests, yes. dignitaries, yes. honorable guests. Yes. But in outer yes. darkness, everyone is bound. Yes. Hand and foot. Yes. Mavenya Jagasian. Kumonongo Gato Sungwa. Urusho to Tizan Genda Gupigana Ethia Chopasina. Uzapana, I go Konga and but Doma Ramira on Ninguakaita, Ninguaka Sungwa, hand and foot. Yes. These are the different setups. So I want to give you a breather. We shall breathe and we shall praise God in a song. We are coming back to finish this message. I want you to spend time with your fellow believers so that you can speak to them and find out whether they are in the message. We are now going to cruise mm -hmm. at a very tremendous speed as we dissect the Kana situation. Why was Jesus invited to the Kana of Galilee marriage ceremony? Mm. Stay with us.
Yes, we ought to honor him for he purchased us with his blood. He died for our sins. He suffered that we may become children of God. We have an obligation. We have no other better things to do than to enjoy the benefits of that sacrifice through thanksgiving and glorifying the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Jesus Christ the Righteous. Now, the Kana wedding, the Kana wedding happened on the third day. Mm -hmm. We have spoken about the third day. Yes. We have realized that outside the walls of the wedding hall, there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Outside the walls of the wedding hall, they are bound hand and foot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Outside the wedding hall, there is outer darkness. Yes. So with that understanding, let's read again John chapter 2, verse 1. Yes. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Right. So, like we said on Sunday last week, the Lord was invited to this marriage yes. so that he may use it to preach about his own marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. What it means is the Kana marriage is a replica of the Jesus or the Lamb marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. My purpose in reading Matthew 22 earlier on mm -hmm. was to emphasize the importance of the word invitation. Mm -hmm. This marriage is strictly by invitation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can tell you today that to date we have not less than five sermons mm -hmm. preached from the Kana wedding incident. Mm -hmm. So we are not going to go into the details we have taught before about already concerning the Kana marriage. I want to construct parameters for a short while. There was a wedding yes. in Kana of Galilee. Mm -hmm. The Bible then says, well, the mother of Jesus mm -hmm. was there. We have to remember that the Bible was written about Christ. Yes. We have to remember that. Mm -hmm. And for those who read the scriptures, John never focused on anyone. Mm -hmm. He always focused on our Lord. Yes. The next day, after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. That's verse 35 and 36 of chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 38 says, Then Jesus turned and saw them mm -hmm. from the whole chapter in chapter 1. Yes. John was focusing on the Lord. Yes. It appears in John chapter 2 mm -hmm. that John was enticed to shift his attention a little bit and start to look at a wedding. 
We know our Lord was not married up to the time of his death and ascension into heaven. Mm -hmm. This was not Jesus' marriage at Cana. Yes. That's why verse 2 says, And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Yes. You cannot be an invited guest to your own wedding. Mm -hmm. Yes. The fact that Jesus, our Lord, was invited mm -hmm. is enough evidence yes. that he was not the one getting married mm -hmm. on that particular day. Mm -hmm. Yes. But there are details that John then prohibits intentionally from appearing in the scripture that shows us that even though it's not Jesus getting married in John 2, mm -hmm. but the moment he attended the wedding, yes. everything became all about him. Mm -hmm. For example, we know who turned water into wine, mm -hmm. but we don't know the name of the marrying couple. Mm -hmm. We don't know the name of the bride. Yes. We don't know the name of the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. We don't know the name of the governor mm -hmm. of the feast. Mm -hmm. Yes. The marriage governor. Yes. The marriage officer. John just mentioned that there was a bridegroom. Mm -hmm. There was a governor of the feast. Mm -hmm. Yes. He doesn't tell us their names. But our Lord's name is there. Mm -hmm. Yes. He looked like he... He took over things at this marriage yes. uh, place when he was not supposed to do so. Now, after Jesus our Lord detained water into wine, the governor of the feast invited the bridegroom and said, uh, every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. Mm -hmm. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until mm -hmm. now. Verse 11 concludes by saying, This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee. Yes. And manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Yes. So verse 11 tells us three things that are important mm -hmm. in this message. Mm -hmm. The first point is, this is Jesus' first miracle mm -hmm. in Galilee. Mm -hmm. According to Mark chapter 1, the gospel started in mm -hmm. Galilee. Yes. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face. Acts chapter 10, verse 36 to 38. Yes. The word which the word. God sent unto the children of Israel. Yes. yes. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. Mm -hmm. Yes. That word I say, you know, which was published throughout all Judea, and it began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. So from Acts chapter 10, mm -hmm. you can actually look at John chapter 1 and John chapter 2, the progression of events. Mm -hmm. yes. And by so doing, you can agree, you can acknowledge that Luke's account is an accurate account of how the gospel began. Yes. Mm -hmm. The gospel was published throughout all Judea, yes. but the gospel started mm -hmm. from Galilee yes. Yes. after the baptism which John preached. Yes. Which means John chapter 2 mm -hmm is actually when the gospel began. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Because in John chapter 1 from verse 29 up to the end, mm -hmm. Jesus did not preach anything. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus did not do anything mm -hmm. apart from what John preached. Yes. Behold the Lamb of God, God, which takes away the yes. sin of the world. Yes. Mm. The first time we see Jesus in action, Jesus in action, mm -hmm. our Lord in the ministry, mm -hmm. the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to Acts 10, 37, began in Galilee. Mm -hmm. John chapter 2, mm -hmm. the Cana marriage, yes. is the starting point mm -hmm. of number one, his ministry, number two, the gospel. Mm -hmm. So if we look back at John chapter 2, verse 11, yes. we realize that it was the beginning, yes. not just of miracles, mm -hmm. but the beginning of the Lord's yes. ministry, yes. the beginning of <coughs> the preaching of the gospel. Mm -hmm. The second thing we can deduce from verse 11 is that the purpose of what he did in Cana, mm -hmm. he was manifesting his glory. Yes. And the third point is that he wanted his disciples to believe mm -hmm. on him. Mm -hmm. And that last point is critical. Mm -hmm. What was he seeking to achieve? Are you listening? Are yes. you following? Yes. Look at me. And his disciples believed on him. Yes. The very disciples, which according to verse 2, mm -hmm. were also invited guests. Mm -hmm. So Jesus and his disciples yes. were invited to a marriage. Yes. And Jesus uses a stranger's marriage to start his ministry, mm -hmm. not for the benefit of those who are getting married, yes. but for his disciples. Amanaga. Who sins were rich? Yeah. After calling the disciples to follow him in John chapter 1 for verse 35, mm -hmm. he then realized these guys don't believe in me. Mm -hmm. I have to do something yes. for them to believe in me. Yes. Where can I start from? Let me go to a wedding. Yes. It will be the perfect start. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you are excited mm. if you love the word. Yes. Now, my question is, my question is, does the world know that what Jesus did is recorded in the Bible mm -hmm. to anyone, for anyone, was to benefit those people whom he chose. Does the world understand that? <laughs> or maybe let me simplify my question. Those who enjoyed this better wine, sweet wine, yes. excellent tasting wine mm -hmm. at this wedding, mm -hmm. do they know that Jesus did not perform that miracle for oh. their benefit? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I believe that maybe the apostles even did not taste this wine. Mm -hmm. They just saw that Jesus turned water into wine. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the wine was best tasting. The governor of the feast, who is an experienced man in tasting wines and evaluating them, he said, well, I have never tasted such a good wine before. Mm -hmm. And the disciples did not believe in the governor of the feast. Yes. They did not believe in the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. They believed on Jesus. Yes. Because he is the man who performed that miracle. How does the Lord do his work? We have to start to think again. Because whatever the Bible tells us, Jesus went to there and he did this. It was for the benefit of his disciples. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like he used the Kana wedding delegation as guinea pigs for his spiritual 
assignment. Yes. Afana indinesh ando gona quit. Kungo tezhi nezh pana pa pana pa ninga nyanzo jitir. Tinga inde kup. Ande de kup guru chat. Afana tinga inde kum chat oka. Mjote no gandiri. Hmm. Ah yeah. Kusikira shasha yaka papa mchato wa zizi wa kuta haa ishe maka tumu. Kukundu kuna nzi kutumu wawo. Zewa ini tsakata ya wana wye kutenda kuna Jesu Christ. Yes. That's a very important point. That's a very important point. Papa mchato weka na maka shamiza. Ajin zaka shamiza papa mchato weka naka. Paiberi manje liri kutu. Vanu vese wa wari pamjato pepe. Awana kana ni baza rese kuna mwana. Shunu jese shaka itu kwa na jeso pamjato. Shaka itu kwa waka nga enda navo. Pamjato ipa. Now, as we talk like this, you may not have realized that there was a very serious blunder that happened at the Kanawid. Verse number nine and ten. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. That is the Kana blunder. Hmm. This man who was getting married, yes. he was invited by the uh, marriage office. Mm -hmm. They called him um, the governor of the feast mm -hmm. or the ruler, the ruler mm -hmm. of the feast. Mm -hmm. There are only two different people. It's one person. Yes. When he tasted wine and, and it, it tasted excellent, exceptionally excellent to him, mm -hmm. he said, no, I must honor someone <laughs> for this thing. This is great. Yes. This man is, is well organized. Mm -hmm. This story was closed by Apostle John. Mm -hmm. Without a meeting mm -hmm. between Jesus and the marrying couple, yes. mm -hmm. the bridegroom and his bride, mm -hmm. husband and wife, yes. the marriage ended, the story ended, mm -hmm. the scriptures ended yes. without Jesus talking okay. to the governor of the feast. Mm -hmm. The marriage ended without those who were instructed by Jesus to take a cup of that water mm -hmm. and take it to the governor of the feast, speaking with him and saying, no, Mr. Governor, you may celebrate this bridegroom. He knows nothing about this. The man who has done this is Jesus there. Mm -hmm. The credit went to the wrong person. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the Kana wedding blunder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said, well, you are very organized. You have kept good wine until now. Mm -hmm. The man was shameless enough not to say, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Which wine are you talking about? The last time I had, there was no wine, wine. here. Where have we found new wine? Mm. Don't give me credit where it is not a Jew. Let's look for the right person yes. to, to celebrate or to thank for this wine you are talking about. Can I test this wine? What kind of a bridegroom is this? How can you start your marriage on a wrong foundation of deception? You take credit where you don't deserve it. Let's not talk about it. We, I'm just expanding your, your understanding. Kuti. So, this is another education. Kunai says, I see that. So, what did the other one credit? Is that what I was Yes. Because the young guys now, Bobby Governor, yes. Is young guy in the border, I don't tamper. 
Anga alisha ya ground jet. Yes. Saka mchato wali zi. Mm. Yaka ita perfect ground. Yes. Yekuta ago ita kutuwa zizi wake. Vamu tende. Yes. Chete chete. <laughs> Nekungo ukura atiza. Yekutu mchato ucha weko wangu ito wema humbu kwa. Tisha zaka na kumchato. <laughs> Donya ya zacho za za zaka amira zaka ita. Iwoka batila muna. Nika ya ni mota ya kia punja viri. Unuto na utika na kazo, shitaura kana pa, kana pa nyuzi, kana aine, zaano ita, ati ntute nda mumurumi nda nda stranded. Haka ndi bazira kuchinja, firi nangu nda nda ponja. Isha kato pa mpapu chata, naku vati, mno shizive ere, kutimu waini ya muru kunu waini, di nita kamira pana. Iye shizha, pana muna ata mponya zonti tenda, shoka nda zonti tzikit. Amtende wano, ipamu chato pano. Yes. He left. Mm-hmm. Verse 12 says, after this, he went down to Capernaum. Mm-hmm. He and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, mm-hmm. and they continued there not many days. Mm-hmm. He left. Yes. Hey. Brother Nelson, mm-hmm. the rate at which men love to be celebrated, they love accolades, mm-hmm. yes. they love honor, Sometimes they create non-existing exploits, non-existing fabricated credentials for them to appear greater than others. Yes. Oh, this man is great. Our Lord performed a miracle. The world does not know of this miracle. Yes. The disciples knew because they were around him yes. when he played this thing out. Yes. Fill the water pots with water. Mm. Yes. Take a cup mm. to yes. the garden of the feast. Mm. They are the ones who benefited mm. from this miracle. They didn't benefit by drinking the wine, but by believing in him. Yes. Hands in a fib. Aka gamjira kukuz wako murizi. Tinavo nasi that are ignoring him and talking about themselves. Mm-hmm. Manuel says the bridegroom claimed the glory. That's not his. Familiar with the preachers of today claiming the glory. Mm-hmm. All right. So these are just observations, but that's not where the message is. I just wanted you to know that there is a very serious problem in those who study the Bible today. They love to pray or to preach, asking God to do things that he did before without knowing why exactly did God do those things. Mm -hmm. So they will say, you performed a miracle at Kana. I need a miracle at my (laughs) place of work. I need a miracle with my pregnancy. I need a miracle Mm. in my marriage. I need a miracle in my career. And they say, Lord, you performed a miracle at somebody's wedding. Mm. Can you do the same in my own life? You are forgetting something. Mm. What is that, Brother Nelson, based on what I've just taught you now? That uh, Jesus doesn't do things which do not benefit his, his disciples. Okay. That's one way of thinking about it, Pastor. Yes. Can you say, Ditreo, Makadadi Sapakana? The same way you did great things at Kana, could you do something, something great for me as well? <laughs> Use the same power. Mm-hmm. You change water into wine. Yes. I need a miracle in my life right now. <laughs> Can you say the same? Uh, Apostle, there is a person who demands a miracle. If you demand a miracle, I will in Zira, number one, you could demand. We, the prescription, you are going to change our wine. The same miracle Yes. 
Mm. You are right, Pastor, yes. but you are missing the most important point. Mm -hmm. yes. The most important point is that the absence of wine at this wedding mm -hmm. is not why Jesus performed this miracle. Our Lord did not respond to a need. Mm -hmm. Our Lord did not care about anyone who was at this wedding. Yes. Our Lord was working out salvation right. for his disciples who were already following him at that time. Mm -hmm. So the people who benefited from this miracle, mm -hmm. they benefited in a spiritual way. Yes. Believing in Jesus was the benefit yes. mm. and not wine. Yes. <laughs> Actually, those who enjoyed this miracle physically, they didn't benefit a thing. They didn't benefit it. According to the scripture, mm -hmm. only believers, only disciples mm -hmm. benefited yes. from this miracle. Mm -hmm. They believed that Jesus was sent from God. Mm -hmm. yes. They did not believe that he is able to perform miracles. Mm -hmm. That's not how faith is built. Mm -hmm. Faith is not believing in a miracle working Jesus. We want a miracle working God. We are want working God. We want a miracle working God. So, the Lord had disciples. He wanted to give them a reason to believe in him. Yes. But at that point, he didn't want to get married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he caused a different couple yes. to invite him to the wedding. Yes. So that he could take that as an opportunity yes. to deal. Mm -hmm. It's like Jesus has an internal matter with his church. Mm -hmm. So he goes to the next door house mm -hmm. to settle that matter. Yes. And he uses a neighbor's house and a neighbor's lounge, and a neighbor's chair mm -hmm. to solve his matter with his church. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. Yeah. So the message in the Kana wedding mm -hmm. is not those who benefited for us to say, well, if Jesus did this for this couple, mm -hmm. I think we can get something as well. Mm -hmm. No! Mm -hmm. Let me simplify this. It was strange that wine would run out at a wedding. It's, it's actually strange. If you study the history of this kind of wedding, mm -hmm. it is one of the strange things that happened, mm -hmm. but that created a void which became the Lord's way of proving whatever he wanted to prove yes. or to preach whatever he wanted to preach. Under ordinary circumstances, they would not run out of wine. Everything is not right. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. At this wedding, yes. everything is mm -hmm. not right. Mm -hmm. If you think about the Kana story mm -hmm. soberly, you realize that a lot of things are not in order. Mm -hmm. Point number one, Families were not invited with the mentioning of individuals in that family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are invited, everyone in your family can go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since verse 1 has already told us that Mother Mary was invited, yes. mm -hmm. it is clear that Jesus didn't need a special invitation yes. Yes. because he was a son to Mary. Yes. He could equally attend this marriage yes. without another separate invitation for himself yes. and for his disciples. Yes. These are the things that are very, very wrong mm -hmm. that will show you 
that the world is wrong mm -hmm. in focusing in the miracle mm -hmm. of turning water into wine. There are greater things to be learned yes. in this matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else is wrong, Apostle Shwenga? What else is wrong? The running out of wine mm -hmm. at a marriage ceremony is unusual mm -hmm. if you look at the historical <coughs> events mm -hmm. and the evidence that is there in the history books and in other supporting uh, uh, literature yes. concerning marriages and weddings in Israel. Yes. Poor people did not do these weddings. Yes. And these weddings did not last one day. Mm -hmm. They lasted a minimum of three days. Mm -hmm. Some lasted beyond a week. Yes. Some lasted beyond two weeks. Mm -hmm. People would still go back home and come to spend the whole day eating, drinking, enjoying themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. The story tells us the day Jesus arrived at the wedding mm -hmm. is the day they ran out of wine. Mm -hmm. That is an abnormality we have to think about. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's an abnormal. Yes. Well, the third abnormal is that Mother Mary reported this to a child who has done no miracle yes. that she knows yes. about yes. Yes. before. Yes. And we know that mm -hmm. because of verse 11. Yes. yes. Verse 11 says, this is miracle number one. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you are meeting a man at a, at a hospital you don't even see anything or you are in a bus or at a bus terminus you just say to someone my wife is sick at the point of, of, of death you are a doctor come and you my wife come and treat my wife but you have no history that this man is a medical doctor how did you identify me first of all what is Mary's basis for asking Jesus, our Lord, to do something yeah. at the Kana wedding? <laughs> Brother Nelson, mm -hmm. yes, I'm showing you that a lot of things are not right here. Yes. yes. You get it? Yes. Now, I will show you something else that is not right. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, and when they wanted wine, mm -hmm. the mother of Jesus said unto him, yes. they have no wine. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong again with the statement. Mm -hmm. The mother did not say we have no wine. Mm -hmm. She said they <laughs> have no, no wine. wine. In other words, Mary was simply saying, I'm not involved in this wine issue. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have no interest in this wine. That's why the story ends. Mary never tasted this wine herself. And what is wrong in that? We want to know why does she care? Mm -hmm. yes. If she's not part of those who are drinking wine, in which case she was supposed to say, we have run mm -hmm. out of wine. Mm -hmm. yes. Then she was not sent by the delegates or the family which was getting married. In which case she would have said, they sent me to tell you yes. they have no one. Yes. Yes. Mary was not sent by anyone. Mary was not drinking the wine. <laughs> Why bother yeah. that yes. they have no wine? Mm -hmm. The other question is, wasn't there anything else that they also ran out of? Why wine in particular? Yeah. <laughs> is it the duty of invited guests to solve problems arising at a wedding where they are invited as guests. Mm -hmm. Is it your problem? Mm -hmm. We got invited to other people's weddings. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know where they were getting whatever they were using. Mm -hmm. Some of us, when we were young, we would actually complain if we don't get food. Yes. Yes. Even though sometimes we would attend those weddings by Guinea. It is nowadays what I go to Ghana. We do the chat to the wedding. I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the wedding. 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 
As my god in our babji popota with the mapera say this na wish piwa. Ah paka na to zika no nzuri po. Apala no zia. Ah iso iso. Pasa, amna bozita we rezi. Pasa muta ta ra shi kumsha jete. Kuna. Sana ka te ga. Take it and pa 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 do zene pa lodge. So people would come and have their weddings. So I'm gonna buy me mchato. To a natu kesi to a mara in try to draw to lunch. To the parents to try to what carry them mchato to the to a mara to a fara go to lunch here it. Lunch here it. So I I was I'm showing you that. We have to be particular. Yes. We have to be sober when reading scriptures so that we don't major on the minor. Yes. A lot of people take away from the Kana story mm -hmm. is that Jesus can perform miracles. Mm -hmm. That is not the theme. Yes. Mm -hmm. The theme is two dimensional. Mm -hmm. The theme is Jesus is going to get married. Mm -hmm. The theme is only his disciples are going to participate in that marriage. Mm -hmm. yes. This so-called miracle is actually a bonus. Because it is not a lie that Jesus performs miracles. Mm -hmm. yes. But when we look at the Kana miracle, the Kana wedding miracle, we have to realize that if a miracle does not lead you to believing in Jesus, then it is not a miracle. Hey. The Galileans yeah. who were getting married mm. did not believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. The disciples who were invited guests are the ones who believed in Jesus. Yes. So the Kana wedding miracle can only be a miracle to the disciples and a nod to the family or the couple that was getting married. Yes. But more times when people pray about it and talk about it, they will be asking for a miracle, but they will be in the shoes of the couple mm. that was getting married. Mm. <laughs> let, let me show you, let me show you something that you don't even remember or you've never thought about. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not meet the couple that got married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. There is no interaction between Jesus yes. and the couple that got married. Yes. yes. In what way is it then a miracle to them? Mm. What kind of a miracle is it that allows you to get something from Jesus, mm -hmm. but not Jesus himself? Mm -hmm. Is that a miracle? No. Isaiah chapter 4 from verse 1. Yes. And in that day, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Yes. Saying, we will eat our own bread. Yes. And wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Don't worry about where we shall get doctrine from. Mm -hmm. The seven women are different churches. Yes. yes. There is going to be the uprising or the rising up or the emergence mm -hmm. of multiplication of churches. Yes. And what they want is they just want to be called the churches of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They don't get food from Jesus. Mm -hmm. They don't get covering from Jesus. Yes. Yes. They just use his name. Yes. Bread represents doctrine. Men shall not live by bread alone, yes. but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Yes. Don't worry about our doctrine. Mm -hmm. We have built Bible colleges to obtain and to establish our own doctrine. Mm -hmm. yes. We have a church board. Yes. We shall write the church constitution. Mm -hmm. We shall deliberate on matters and come up with annual resolutions. Mm -hmm. We just want to be called believers. Mm -hmm. Allow us mm -hmm. to use your name. Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 
seven churches mm -hmm. shall take hold of Jesus and say, we shall find doctrine for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Allow us to just do one thing, to use your name mm -hmm. to take away our reproach. Mm -hmm. yes. If we don't use your name, people are going to know we are not the church of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are a shrine in an in, in, in account. So these are the mentors. So ideally speaking, at this wedding, there are two churches. Mm -hmm. The church that Jesus chose himself, yes. Yes. made up of the disciples, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the marriage couple yes. who invited him and benefited from something mm -hmm. that to this day, they don't know why Jesus did that miracle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know that there are people which I have prayed for myself, they got healed, and yet they never believed their whole lives until they died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the early days of my ministry, I was wondering, why would God heal people who are not going to be saved anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to know now, there are things that God do in the sight of his children. Yes. Mm -hmm which do not have a physical benefit yes. to his children, yes. <laughs> but which give them a spiritual benefit. Yes. And this is a very hard nut to crack, yes. mm -hmm. a hard pill to swallow. So my question to you is, which group do you belong to? Are you a member of the kind of family that was getting married, mm -hmm. or you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, then your desire is not wine. Your desire is Jesus. Mm -hmm. To believe in him, Lord, increase my faith. Open my heart to believe in you. All right, let's leave it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Brother Nelson. Yes, we're going to get it. Yes, we're going to get it. So the mother said, they have no wine. <laughs> and he said, woman, leave me alone. Yes. What my hour is not yet come. Mm. Yes. So Mary was not allowed to influence what was going to happen. Yes. So his mother said unto the servants, whatsoever he says unto you, do it. And they were set there six water pots of stone yes. after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Mm -hmm. So for those who don't know, you have to understand that um, whenever there was a function, the Jews would pour out water into huge water pots. If you are an accepted, invited guest, it was their way of showing you hospitality by giving you water to wash your feet. Mm -hmm. So that when you enter into the area where events are happening, you will be clean on your feet and in your hands. Mm -hmm. So the six water pots were already used up because this marriage, Jesus did not arrive at the beginning of the marriage. Yes. He arrived later. Mm -hmm. And after they ran out of wine, it was then discovered that the water pots were now empty. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus, our Lord, performed this miracle, he started by giving an instruction that they should fill the water pots with water. And when they had done that, he said, draw out some, take it to the garden of the feast. And that's when the water naturally, mm -hmm. without him doing anything, yes. it is just turned into wine. Mm. So in light of the two venues I, is, I have been talking to you about earlier on, mm. the marriage hall and the, and the judgment hall, I want us to slow down a little bit so that you could see what 
our Lord did at the Cana wedding. Mm -hmm. The marriage there is a picture of his own marriage with the church. Let us look. Let us look at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. For when a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Now, the word wine, wine represents blood. Yes. Wine represents blood. Mm. Yes. Follow me. Our Lord came here mm -hmm. to organize to start the arrangements for his own marriage. Yes. That's why Jesus was here. He knew he can't get married to us without coming first to us, setting up structures on how things are going to happen to make us ready. Because remember, Revelation 19 says, his wife hath made herself ready. Yes. Uh, she has been granted that she should put on fine linen, clean and white, yes. which is the righteousness of the saints. Yes. So when he came here mm -hmm. into the earth, yes. he had already this wedding in his mind. So the coming of our Lord in the flesh mm -hmm. where his time to prepare mm -hmm. us for the marriage. Pastor, are you following? Yes. yes. He wanted to start the preparations mm -hmm. for the marriage. Yes. Mounter? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the first day, the second day, preparation days. Mm -hmm. The third day is the marriage day. Yes. So, the marriage that happened on the third day in Cana, mm -hmm. the timing is representative of the dispensation in which his own marriage yes. shall happen yes. with his own bride, mm -hmm. yes. the church. Mm -hmm. So, as he sat there as an invited guest, mm -hmm. everything that Jesus did, okay, let me pause here. We'll come back. Mm -hmm. I told you that a lot of things are not right in this marriage. Mm -hmm. Number one, there was no need for a second invitation. Once Mary was invited, that was an automatic invitation on our Lord's part. Mm -hmm. Number two, what was the other awkward things we, which we mentioned? In Mary uh, asking for... Wine. Mary asking for Jesus to do something. Yes. Yes. It was not a responsibility to do so. Yes. What else was the awkward the among the things that we said were awkward? The governor didn't uh, give credit to Jesus. Th that was something the which we said that that was, a, I said it was a blunder. Mm. Yes. The, the, the credit went to the wrong person. Yes. But the Lord never minded. Pastor, I want to say something. No, I just wanted to say, uh, to add on the awkward things that you mentioned, the abnormalities, that even the, the couple didn't know where the wine came from. And they never they inquired. Never inquired. Yes. Mm -hmm. And even the issue that they ran out of the wine, wine it's, yes. it's a miracle itself. Yes. yes. Such people would never have to run out of wine. wine. Yes. yes. The reason why we mentioned the awkward things mm -hmm. which are suspicious to us at this wedding. Yes. I wanted you to know mm -hmm. that the one who planned this wedding are not these ones who are getting married. Yeah. It was the Lord. Yes. The Lord has this ability to get into people's minds and to start <laughs> some things uh, yeah. for him. Kutimchato, you got to chat take a name, cutting and go gratis to become a pot to cut a dig chatter. 
vana vakarora na fungwa yacho vakatoiswa naye yes ndiye futa akaita kuti vare ge kuorganize wine yacho ikwane kana yakanga ichikwana yakanuwa zvisina order iko kushewa order kwacho kwakapedza wine koko ndiye food akaisa fungwa muna mai maria kuti vauye kwari kuti havana wine ndiye food akaita kuti vanotunga kunochera mvura vagobvuma ndiye food akaita kuti uyo akauya nekapu yakazara wine anga iri mvura ari gekudza ari kunwa wine kuti anga iri mvura kai munhu wacho ari kuseru ndiye food akaita kuti uyo ari kunzwa gona wachengeta wine yakanaka ari gekuti andisiri ndiye food ari aso not in the post of ghost pagatuma nekapu kana anga achizoti anga, anga ya wine vanhu vaingozi chipa yevanhu chipa yevanhu eh, why is and it need to go iwo wacho vakachera mvura yakaita wine ko vakadiwo kuti pamzoro iva gavena munga angonakirwa zvenyu munhu we wine chai chai arisiro mberi rizinga gwino kutenga wine inokwane ari kuseru akadorara zvake pamutsago hana maturo but ndiye atituma kuzadza makata izve zvitine makata akazara ne wine kudai kuti makata yakazonuiwa here ati zive kuti vakazotakura here chigubhu no but no this is why we said some some things are awkward there yes but the, that's what he did that's what he does yes. if our lord wants to preach a message he creates a situation in real life yes from where the message will be preached he has done that in the bible he has done that even in my own life several mm-hmm. times yes. mm-hmm. he can preach to you using your own life yes. yeah. and then you realize but i was not supposed to go there how did i decide to go there mm-hmm. this is what the lord wanted me to learn mm-hmm. thank you lord for teaching me this you then realized that is the one who influenced you mm-hmm. to go there mm-hmm. he does that yes. he doesn't just control events maybe like events like earthquakes and lightnings mm. he also controls <laughs> our thought processes and our planning processes yes. and our desires yes. and our agreements yes. and our disagreements yeah it means why israel aenda ku hondo vanhu vaida kurwa na israel vakagona na vakabaya na vega israel akatarisa Israel akadzoka nemapfumo asina ropa achitinda wina. Eh. Vanhu vakati ko hauna kurwa wani zvikanza havane tsano ta kuda kutorovana vazobaya navega. Tadzoka kuti sina watabaya. Ah, yeah. Tichitakurai magorida tatora yatangosvika ya mitumbi ega ega. Kuti mambovha kumida kunorovana na Israel mazokona na nguvai ishano zviita izvo. Ano gona kuvura muromo we dongi dongi rikataura mfungu. He can do that. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yes. He controls situations mm-hmm. when he's seated at the apex of his throne in the, the circumference of the heavenly sanctuary. But now what is the message apostle Chuen? The message is The message is the success of the marriage is not in the invited guests mm-hmm. it is in the bridegroom right. that's why the governor once he tasted good wine he called the bridegroom mm-hmm. yes. so our takeaway today is that as Jesus our Lord sat at that wedding as an invited guest mm-hmm. he was starting to roll out his own plan yes. to get married to his own wife mm-hmm. yes. he was planning on marrying his wife yes and he wanted to know which he knew already he wanted to preach to you and me mm-hmm. yes what is the most important thing necessary for a marriage to take place The answer is blood. Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> When Mary said they have no wine, mm-hmm. Mary was actually saying there is no marriage. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you forgetting 
that we have just read Hebrews 9 mm. yes verse 16 and 17 yes a testament mm -hmm. is useless without blood yes saka mashoko ekuti havana wine ka ano toreva kuti havana marriage so as he sat there He was showing us something. Yes. Don't be quick to ask of me when we are we going to get married. Mm. There are things that are not in place. Yes. And this is why I am here. Mm -hmm. I am here to set my marriage into motion. Yes. I am going to solve mm -hmm. the missing puzzles yes. in this marriage plan of mine. What do I need? for my marriage to take place yes. with my church yes. mm -hmm. i need blood yes <laughs> so mary comes to him and she says they have no wine yes and our lord was away once there is no wine there is no marriage <laughs> and this bridegroom if he leaves the marriage venue without a comment from the governor of the feast then he has failed his marriage oh yes <laughs> There is only one thing that shall give credit yes. to the bridegroom. Yes. He needs a good tasting wine. Yes. Yes. Zvavo zvavo kuda vachena. Yes. Unopinza vanhu denga ropa unaro here. Ndo pariya yacho. Yes. Iwe uda kuti vanhu vapinde denga ropa riri po here. Zvikanzi mai awa is not yet to come. Yes. When he spoke about the hour. Mm -hmm. It was not the hour to give these ones wine. Yes. It was the hour to give the disciples blood. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the wedding was not going to be between mm -hmm. those ones which we don't know. Yes. We were in Canada. Mm -hmm. It was between him and the disciples. Yes. yes. Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. Yes. So the verse verse 11 tells us because of the wine which he gave mm -hmm. provided mm -hmm. the disciples believed on him Amana ngarigati batsirepana This is the only reason why we should believe in Jesus yes, yes. the blood yes mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah Pastor yes, Amen. the blood is the only reason why we should believe in him yes because of hebrews 9:16 and 17 again yes. let's read it akana pasina wine saka kana pasina ropa unorora anyway kana pasina wine kana pasina ropa unorora save food iwe pa jesha ko food hauko zere kurora kana pasina wine yes For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Hebrews 9.21. Yes. Mm -hmm. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. Blood, Yes. And almost all things are by the law paged with blood yes. and without shedding of blood is no remission. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all things yeah. are paged mm. with blood. Yes. Without blood, without yes. shedding of blood. Yes. There is no forgiveness of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that a clear change? Yes. yes. So the disciples did not believe in Jesus. because the wine was tasting good mm -hmm. the disciples were used by god for me to teach you this message today the only reason why you should believe in jesus is that he provided blood yes. so that you may become a child of god yes. Yes. the wine that jesus provided mm -hmm. represented the blood which he was going to shed yes. for you and my sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. Are you following? Yes. So he says, well, I'm starting my ministry. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do judgment? What do I need to execute judgment? Mm -hmm. Let's go to 
to Acts 17, verse number 30 and 31. Mm -hmm. And the times of this ignorance, God willed it. Yes. But, but now, now commands all men everywhere to repent. Yes. Why does God command us to repent? Because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness. God has appointed a day. Yes. yes. God is going to bring the world into judgment yes. in righteousness. Mm. Yes. By that man whom he has ordained. The man who shall execute judgment yes. was ordained by God. Yes. Mm. Whereof he has given assurance unto all There is a guarantee that that man shall judge the world. Yes. In that he has raised him from the dead. The resurrection of Jesus mm -hmm. yes. is the guarantee yes. that he is the judge of the earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also he is the husband of the church. Yes. <laughs> but he could not rise from the dead mm -hmm. if he had not died in the first place. Yes. yes. Acts chapter 10, mm -hmm. verse 41 and 42. Yes. Let's start from verse 39. Yes. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Yes. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly. So after they killed him on the yes. cross, yes. yes, God raised him on the third day and showed him openly. Yes. Not to all the people, yes, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, yes, even to us, yes, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. 42. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. After God raised Jesus from the dead, he commanded us to preach to the people. Yes. And to testify that. And to testify what? That it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick and dead. Yes. Did you see that? Yes. yes. So when he looked at the wedding, mm -hmm. he realized there is no wine. Yes. yes. And he realized then if there is no wine, mm -hmm. it means there is no judge. Yes. yes. Because by dying and rising from the dead, yes. he then got ordained by God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. Yes. yes. Are you getting this? Yes. yes. God gave an assurance mm -hmm. that Jesus shall execute judgment by raising him from the dead. Yes. Yes. All things are paid with blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without blood, there is no remission of sins. Yes. yes. Wine represents blood. Mm -hmm. Wine represents blood. Mm -hmm. So, what are you talking about, Apostle Chwenga? What we are talking about is between the coming of Jesus Christ into the world and the judgment day were procedures that were supposed to be executed meticulously mm -hmm with the clinical precision mm -hmm. and the military accuracy. Mm -hmm. Number one, in order for judgment day to happen, yes. there needs to be a standard for that judgment to happen. Mm -hmm. By what standard shall God execute judgment? Mm -hmm. According to Acts 17, verse 31, yes. righteousness. Yes. Yes. What is righteousness? Mm. Righteousness is a sin free discourse towards God. Yes. Jesus had a responsibility to demonstrate yes. that such righteousness exists, mm -hmm. not in heaven, mm -hmm. because men were not in heaven. Men were on earth. Yes. And then he realized, I can't expect people to make themselves righteous. I have to make them righteous myself. What do I need? On that very judgment day, I will need to marry a wife. What kind of a wife should I marry? She should be a virgin. Mm -hmm. Only without spot, without blemish. What is it 
that shall take away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. It is the Lamb of God. Yes. Yes. It is the cross. Yes. Do I really have to die? Do they really need this blood? Mm. Let me go and attend a wedding and find out yeah. what exactly is important mm. if one is to plan a wedding. Mm. In present day terms, others are talking about you need 100 chickens in order for you to, to do a wedding. Somebody is saying you need 200 kilograms of rice. Others are saying you need a, a golden ring. Others are saying, no, you need a golden diamond ring. Others are hiring wedding gowns from dead British people who <laughs> donated their gowns to charity organizations and uh, thieves stole those gowns that they are renting them out in Africa. $50, you wear that gown, you send it back. When you look at Facebook, 20 women did their weddings with one gown. You wonder, why are you really hiring somebody's clothes? Why don't you just wear your ordinary clothes and do your wedding? Why do you think a white gown will make you a bride? <laughs> Those are some confusion which our people have. Yes. Gown ni muna akafa 1940 ndoro wakati <laughs> but when people talk about planning weddings, they have different priorities. Yes. Others want to hire luxury cars. Yes. Others want to hire luxury hotel conference rooms yes. in order for them to make noise with their marriage ceremonies. When our Lord attended the Kana marriage, he wanted to find out and he wanted to show us what is the most principal ingredient or necessity for a marriage to take place. The answer is blood in quotes why. Yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Now, Mary, his mother, spoke to him and said, they have no wine. Mm -hmm. Our Lord said, leave me alone. My hour is not yet come. Why was this woman humiliated like this? Would you speak to your mother like this? Our Lord did not say, ma'am. Our Lord said, woman. Yes. Woman is not a word that your son could use to address you. Which means when Jesus spoke to Mary, in his spirit, he was not responding to his mother. Yes. He was addressing a very important spiritual matter. A woman represents church. Yes. When she said they have no wine, mm -hmm. she came to the right person, yes. but at the wrong time, with the wrong approach. My hour is not yet come is not an answer that Jesus is giving to Mary. Mm -hmm. My hour is not yet come, is his answer to the disciples. Yes. We have to do some groundwork until the hour is come. Mm -hmm. yes. I will give you the blood, yes. and then we shall get married. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. Sakazazaka garapam chatu. Vamuagabatamakeke, <laughs> Kutikana maa kunzi wazi chinzi Dere chita tura kushika yes. Musa kanga nwe ropa mm. yes. Because ndicho chinu Chicha kuita kuti muko pinda pa mchato yes. Kana mchida kupinda pa mchato Don't worry about the cake Don't worry about anything else Worry about wine yes. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. So the blood of Jesus 
is our invitation card to the marriage. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you're hearing this. Yes. Yes. If the pastor preaches about Jesus, his suffering, yes. his death, his resurrection, what he's actually giving you is an invitation card. Yes. Without blood, there is no remission of sins. Yes. And yet, the woman must be found wearing a fine linen, clean and white on that wedding day. Pano shote chiko pa mchato. Chiko chirikuneza. Shikanzi avana wine kutawara kuno. Avana wine. They have no wine. Mary's request to Jesus when she said they have no wine. It was the first time Jesus is speaking to a normal mortal being. Giving a son of man. A, a status report yes. on what is there on earth. Mm -hmm. Welcome to planet earth. Yes. Everyone is here. Everyone is in sin. Yes. We hear that you are planning on marrying a righteous church. Mm -hmm. There is no blood here on earth. Yes. If you have anything in your plans, mm -hmm. don't forget the blood. Yes. Mary was representing mankind. Yes. Okay, okay. Let me let me take it further a little bit. Yes. They have no wine. Mm -hmm. Is a request for wine. Mm -hmm. Not from Mary, who is an invited guest to another couple's marriage. Mm -hmm. It's a request from humanity. Yes. To their savior. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Aruta Orira. Guayana, yes. Kutu Urukunzi, Urufungi Zirgo, that was a chat away way with us. Dayuka Dilan and now ye wine, Nipachin and Gula, yes. Mucha to our ambits, because I go to no chat and never do walk up to our Namari. Unaro a rope I way way, yes. Kutum Chatuako, Gubudira. Isha ndoku vans wa ship vans wa na wewe ropa kati nasi ere ndopa nika na wewe ropa inda uje manya kudare inu time zangu zino kwa na mani licha de ura ropa dini tuma tuma arrangements tu ando fanya kuita saka jishindi kwa de ura ropa nde ni chichata na do tanga kanda gazira ma structures uli change change zika na zino vapa chenda kuti kana nda kude ura ropa zika na wenye wandi cha rora kuti ndugumure ndugude uri la iye ropa kwa vaka pua wai ni pamoja tu paka pua wai ni rekodi vavari pove se mrupe ni mukazi andu vavari pove se vavari tu saka vazi ziva kika pava kazo vapa pamoja tu kana ndu pava kazo tena kaka kuare utoa saka dia chetu pa ropo kati la beri chimsona ano tipa Avaru chata vava to Iran au Dara, pati iye ne wa kimo kazi vava sato wa Iran. Saka kanga wa tende uzapa John chapter one, pata vava sato wa zote ndiye murume wa wao. Akatanda kumi chato, tuno no vai koko, muka onsaka no shida na nemska no agoka, muka enda kumi chato eva mu, no vai koko ma utodo ukuruan. Ava zavu zeka. Tova tikira zaka ita. Yes. Baka tova pa mchato wana pita vajiti tunorora na orini. Iho wakati tora msuno. We don't see our relationship going anyway. I got cool down. My hour is not yet come. Yes. So the hour that our Lord spoke about, he was not speaking to Mary only. He was speaking to his church. Yes. It was a call for blood, mm -hmm. but it was made by the wrong person. Yes. Remember, he wanted to make the disciples believe mm -hmm. Mary was not part of those disciples. Yes. Yes. If Jesus was going to shed blood, he was going to shed blood not for Mary, mm -hmm. but for the church. Yes. Now, let's remember mm -hmm. John 13 verse 1. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, before the feast of the Passover, yes. when Jesus knew Yes. That his hour was come, come, that he should depart out of this world yes. Yes. unto the Father. Yes. Yes. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. end. Yes. Yes. He knew what that his hour was yes. come. Yes. Yes. Now. Yes. He knew what? That, that his hour was come. What hour was it? His death. 
the hour to die. Yes. John chapter 12. Mm -hmm. John chapter 12. Yes. Verse number 27. Now is my soul troubled. He spoke and said, Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. Save me, Father, from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. You see, yes. let's end there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The hour was not a simple hour. Yes. It was not an hour to provide wine. Yes. It was an hour for him to die. Yes. Because where a testament is, there is a necessity for the death of the testator. Yes. In other words, there is no marriage without wine. Yes. It was a difficult wine. It was a difficult wine to provide. Yes. So he went there and he realized that number one, you can have a wedding without blood and it will be embarrassing. Yes. I can't afford that embarrassment. If you get into a marriage ceremony and you run out of wine, I, that will not be good. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure when we do our marriage, yes. wine is not only available, yes. but it is enough to last the wedding. Yes. yes. So the statement we hear from the governor of the feast, yes. it is a statement that is laying a foundation yes. on how Jesus shall do his own marriage. Yes. yes. The Bible says, the governor mm -hmm. said, Every man at the beginning mm -hmm. doth set forth good wine. Yes. And when men were have well drunk, mm -hmm. then that which is worse. But thou and hast kept the good wine until now. Yes. Yes. When he came, he was the lamb sacrifice yes and it's him being the lamb sacrifice him being again the bridegroom yes uh, the high priest and Saka, the ruler of the feast at his tender in the place of the high priest yes. he has kept up, up to now Saka do no fanya kude ora ropa hero. Yes. Saka jo na askura sika. As. Par tarira iguana. Yes. Por no visa chiviche nika. Yes. Arukuto taro do mne wa ini mum. Yes. Wa ini aga na kairi mum. Kairi mum. Kana pa ini vano da wa ini. Yes. Iye yundi aga chenge ta wa ini aga na kum. Yes. And then the words every man mm -hmm. is referring to every means by which men have tried to justify himself. Mm -hmm. yes. But much more emphasis is given there on the law of Moses. Yes. Because of Hebrews chapter 10, verse mm -hmm. 4 to 7. Mm -hmm. Yes. For it is not possible yes. that the blood of bulls and goats should take, take away sins. Yes. Wherefore, when he comes into the world, yes. he says, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. You see now. Yes. yes. So, a body has thou prepared me. Yes. This is now the last bridegroom. Mm -hmm. Because the governor of the feast was very conclusive. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't say some men. No, no. He said every some man. Yes. It means this kind of wedding yes. was his last wedding yes. to officiate mm -hmm. in his career yes. as a marriage officer. Mm -hmm. Ever since... I got yes. this job yes. to be the marriage officer. Yes. People have been wicked, I tell you. Mm -hmm. They bring good wine at the beginning. Yes. When people are drunk, they, they bring out the worst yes. that they have. Mm -hmm. Every man. Mm -hmm. But you, you are a better man. man. You are different. Yes. You are special. Yes. There is no one like you. Yes. You have kept good wine mm -hmm. until now. Yes. Yes. So the governor of the feast is referring to God yes. who shall commend Jesus mm -hmm. yes. for having provided a better blood yes. that speaks of better things mm -hmm. than, than the blood of Abel. Yes. Yes. But let's remember the words of, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I want to conclude this message. We have to end now. Mm -hmm. Let's put John chapter 2 verse 10. Mm -hmm. 
side by side yes. with Hebrews chapter 10, yes. verse 11 and 12. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you you will never see such a concordance yes. in an amazing way like this. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> the governor is, is talking to Jesus. Yes. He's talking to a bridegroom mm -hmm. who is a type of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was conclusive. I got a battle dismissal and Vesava and Vuchatis Agata, Van Marabish man, Van Dagisava and Van Wakato Dagua, and the Mukato Tarisa, Vestini, Johnny, too. Ignorant is Otomichato, who in two wagons, Nagu Dagua, and Nagu Dagua. Pose Van Vines, that dark way, Kutikanava Dagua. Was a poor way in no shata as running about dark was who say you want to know shata. Could you go to Kunyong or who know in no shata as if I can dark was who tell us queens won't in no shata. Murgona Pranajo. The previous marriages I have officiated. The bridegrooms are so wicked. Yes. They bring good wine. Mm. But the people get it drunk yes. and then they bring out waste wine. Yes. But because people will be drunk, mm -hmm. they will be too drunk that they can't taste the wine and judge whether it's tasting good or bad. Yes. Mm. Which means this marriage officer, the governor of the feast, yes. is saying there are people who are drunk. Mm. That's why the taste of the wine is good to them. Mm -hmm. If they were not drunk, they would know that this wine is not just bad, it is worse. Yes. So wine represents blood, but blood is presented to you in doctrine. Yes. Which means there are churches, there are bridegrooms all over the world who are starting churches and talking about salvation, forgiveness of sins, going to heaven. When they start their churches, their missions seem to be very, 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 very clear and noble. Mm -hmm. But in the process, because they are wicked bridegrooms, mm -hmm. they get people drunk with heresy. Yes. Until you can't tell whether this wine is tasting good or tasting bad yes. because you are drunk. Yes. Doesn't that remind us of Jeremiah 51, 7? Babylon has been a golden cup in yes. the Lord's hands. Yes. It made people drunk. All nations are drunk yes. and all nations are gone mad. Yes. Once you are drunk, you are mad. Yes. You can't tell whether it's tasting good or tasting bad. Mm -hmm. When Makandiwa started his interdenominational movement, it looked like good tasting wine. Yes. Oh, yes. But not yes. long, yes. not long after, people got drunk. Mm -hmm. And then he brought out his West. <laughs> he started by introducing oh, anointed yes. oranges, mm -hmm. yes. anointed bricks, yes. anointed wristbands. Mm -hmm. And one day he came with a very short man, yes. a very short fat man from Ghana. <laughs> and he said, I found a new father from Ghana. <laughs> people were too drunk to notice yes. this wine is now worse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare John chapter 2 verse 10 and Hebrews chapter 10 verse 11. My question in this comparison is to answer this question. My, my, my thrust is to answer this question. When the governor said every man, who was he referring to as every man? Yes. So brother Nelson, read verse 10, John chapter 2, yes. and pastor will read Hebrews 10, 11 and 12. And saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But so, thou, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thou has kept the good wine until now. Yes. yes. So in John chapter two verse ten, there are two groups of people. Mm -hmm. There is every man. Yes. And then there is one man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every man is wicked. Yes. Only one man is not wicked. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one man does not have waste wine. Yes. This one man yes. does not get people drunk. Vanvano dagwa. Vat dagwa. Panichi mwe chukomba chino zoburita wine ili waste. Yes. Shukuta apana no zinzwa. I can tell you today, the Roman Catholics, when they started their religion, mm -hmm. most of the things they are practicing today were not yet in existence. Mm -hmm. 
They never started Catholicism with the plan that the priest and the papal order would be given power to, to, to forgive sins. Yes. They were never starting this religion with a plan to ask their Roman Catholics to pray to Mary, the mother of Jesus, telling them that she is the vicar of Christ, which means the proxy or the mediator between them and Christ. No, it was not as worse as it is today. Yes. But it is now worse. But nobody knows, nobody sees it. It's worse. Yes. And it is because people are it's drunk. Wrong. Yes. Who knew that AFM could have functions yeah. fighting each other and kicking each other and blowing each other <laughs> and, 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 and shooting at each other mm -hmm. and taking each other to court? Oops. Who knew that? No one. It started as the Azusa Street Revival. Yeah. <laughs> and when the people got drunk, mm. the words started coming out. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. 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 Did you know that someone could come back from yes, church yes. with a, a tablet <laughs> of bath soap claiming that it has been prayed for, it's an anointed soap? Did you ever think that Zimbabwe could stoop that law or the rest of the world for that matter? What happened? People got drunk. Yes. <laughs> That's what happened. Now nobody knows how to taste wine. Mm -hmm. Everyone says it's good. Don't break the routine. I mean, they don't break. Ah, what about Dagua? What about Dagua? What about Dagua? All right. So, the ruler of the feast told this bridegroom. Yes. Every man is wicked. Mm -hmm. Number one, he deceives his in invited guests. Yes. By giving them good wine, mm. getting them drunk, yes. and bringing out the waste wine. Yes. Number two, the every man, every bridegroom is wicked mm -hmm. because he is not inviting guests yes. to grace his wedding. Mm -hmm. He's inviting guests mm. to intoxicate them and to poison them mm -hmm. with waste wine. Yes. yes. But you, on the other hand, mm -hmm. You are special. Mm -hmm. yes. You are a cut above the rest. Yes. There will be nobody like you. Mm -hmm. You have kept good wine yes. until now. Yes. If you want to ask me the question, what does the word now mean? Mm -hmm. Go to Hebrews 11 verse 1. Yes. That will be your homework. But let's read Hebrews 10, 11 and 12. Yes. And every priest stands daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, yes. which can never take away sins. Pastor, why are you laughing and smiling? <laughs> Apostle Paul started by saying every yes. priest. Yes. Mm -hmm. The, the, the governor, governor yes. he said every the, man. Yes. yes. And we were asking, who is he referring to mm -hmm. as every man? Yes. yes. The answer is the priesthood yes, order. Yes. yes. Every priest yes. stands daily, yes. offering oftentimes <laughs> the same sacrifices yes. that can never take away sins. Yes. In other words, bad wine. Yes. yes. Waste wine. Yes. Intoxicating wine. Mm -hmm. What about another man? If there is every priest, <laughs> yes. is there another one who is different? Verse yes. 12. But this man, ah. <laughs> after yes. he had offered one <laughs> sacrifice for sins yes. forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Yes. yes. Pastor, did you hear that? Yes. yes. What did he say? He <laughs> said every priest. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we were asking, who are you comparing every priest with? with yes. He yes. said, well, this but man... man Mm. He's comparing every priest with yes. this man. Yes. yes. Of course, he was referring to our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. yes. When he offered sacrifice, one sacrifice for yes. sins yes. forever, yes. Mm -hmm. set down on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. When the ruler of the feast mm -hmm. 
invited the bridegroom. Yes. Did he have a need again to provide wine at another point? Mm -hmm. No. Once the, the ruler tasted one wine, yes. it was enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is what our Lord was doing. Yes. The Kana wedding is a plan for the Lord's ministry. Yes. yes. That's what he decided to do on day one mm -hmm. of his ministry. Yes. yes. What exactly do I need for me to marry my church? Mm -hmm. Let me go to a marriage yes. and find out what is the most important utility. Yes. What is the most important facility that you cannot do without mm -hmm. if you want to get married? Yes. And he came up with this plan. Mm -hmm. It is the blood. Yes. Without blood shedding. There is no remission of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. We read that in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Yes. Almost all things are okay. paid with blood. Yes. yes. Without blood, without shedding of blood, yes. there is no remission. remission. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Mary represented the Old Testament. We spoke about it in earlier messages. Yes. Mary represented many kind. Mm -hmm. Mary represented the church of Jesus Christ. They have no wife. Yes. And the Lord knew this issue of wine is demanding my blood. Yes. I will provide this blood at the right hour. Yes. So the whole process of filling water pots with water to the brim, it was another matter for another day. Yes. We are going to need to be filled with the word of God. Yes. And each one, whatever you are filled with, the governor of the feast shall test whatever is in you. Yes. And you are either going to be in the every man category. Yes. Or you are going to be in the this man category. Mm -hmm. Jesus shed his blood for our sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. Yes. Can you read Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 25? Mm -hmm. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, yes. Yes. whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood yes. to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. God sent Christ to be a propitiation yes. through faith yes. in his blood. Yes. yes to declare his righteousness yes. for the remission of sins that are passed mm -hmm. through God's forbearance. Yes. yes. So God has appointed him mm -hmm. to be the payment, yes. the payment plan yes. for our sins through his blood. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have so many verses. You can read Colossians 1, 13 to 15. Mm -hmm. You can read um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. They tell us that it is the blood of Christ that brought us into sonship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have redemption through his blood. Yes. yes. We have redemption through his blood. Yes. But now... Are we aware that after showing us that he needed to provide blood for our salvation, mm -hmm. the next thing that he started to do, he was now moving towards the cross. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the right place where I must shed my blood. Yes. If you are going to be in the marriage hall, the critical ingredient is not your church uniform. Yes. Mm -hmm. The critical ingredient is not your, your offerings. Yes. The critical necessity, the visa 
the passport into the marriage hall. Yes. It is not your relationship with the pastor, mm -hmm. your position in the church, your prayers and supplications and fastings. Yes. No. It is the blood. Yes. They have no wine. They have no blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we, we have to continue to say it every time. Mm -hmm. The statement that Mary made in John chapter 2, when she said there's no wine, mm -hmm. which meant blood. This is the reason why Jesus Christ came into this world. Mm -hmm. So, may the pastor not tell you that Jesus came because you had no husband, or Jesus Christ came because you, have no, you had no farm, you had no land, you had no house, you had no car, you had no degree, or you had no passport, or you had no visa to go to a different country. They had no blood, they had no wine. Yes. That was the only thing our Lord attended. And that remains the only thing that he came to do, to provide blood. Yes. To provide blood. Yes. To provide blood. Ndiya niko achati paropa radisha radisha pones kwa naru. Shikanzai wa ndi jeso Revelation chapter 5 Verse number four and five. Diana Shatipa Ropa. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Yes. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, yes. having seven horns and seven eyes, yes. which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Yes. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and the twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Yes. And they sang a new song. Let us hear the song that they sang. Saying, what were they singing about? Thou art worthy to they, take the book. They said to Jesus, Yes. You are worthy to take the book. And to open the seals thereof. You are worthy to interpret the scriptures. Yes. For thou wast slain. Because you were killed. And hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Aha. You are worthy. Yes. To be honored and to be praised. Yes. Because, the word before, it means because. Yes. Because you died. Mm -hmm. Because you had brought us to God. Yes. By thy blood. Yes. Out of every kindred. Yes. Out of every tongue, people, and nation. Yes. He didn't say, you have redeemed us to God by thy blood, the whole world. Mm -hmm. He said, out of, yes. out of every kindred, mm -hmm. out of every tongue, yes. out of every people and every nation, yes. which means the whole nation is not going to be saved. Yes. But out of the nation, mm -hmm. there are people that are redeemed unto God yes. by the blood of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> She can see the whole church. She can see the copy. How she see the road can pass in a roof? What is theta? Upon a church. Yes. Pano da ropa kutu tenge church. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. The church was purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the blood of God. Yes. 
take it therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock yes. over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. To feed the church of God. Yes. What did he acquire this church with? Mm -hmm. He bought it with his own, own blood. blood. Yes. yes. So when he sat there at the marriage, mm -hmm. he realized he needed a church. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he wanted to show us what is it going to take him to purchase this church. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the woman came and said, they have no wine. Yes. They have no blood. It's your duty to provide this blood if you are serious about your intentions of getting married. Mm. And he said, well, I know I will do it. I, I, I just need the right hour. Yes. Mm. My hour is not, not yet, yet come. come. Yes. Ministry, yanga ishingo tanga. Aida kuziva kuti. Ndiku fanyi wangu nya so itei. Kutindi goti basarangu rapera. Yes. Shikazi na mae maria. Nyayako iwa ina mbukura. Uka ngo pao na waro pao topeza. Toku vati chile gaendi simu keishesh. Ndiende kupass over. If you read verse 12, it says he was now going. Mm-hmm. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. Verse 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And you see? Yes. What was at hand? The Passover. The Passover was at hand. It was the Passover that was at hand. Yes. And who is our Passover? First Corinthians chapter five verse seven. seven yes. yes, Jesus is our Passover. Passover yes. yes, page out therefore the old leaven that you may be a new lamp. Yes, as ye are unleavened, for oh, even Christ, Christ our Passover yes. is sacrificed yes. for us. Yes. yes. So when he says the Jews Passover was at hand, mm -hmm. it was the time for him to die. Yes, yes. which was at hand. Yes. yes. That's why as you go into the book of John, you are going to meet so many verses that mm -hmm. say the Passover was at hand. The Passover was at hand, including yes. John chapter 12, verse yes. 1. Yes. It always talks about the Passover, mm -hmm. yes. which was at hand. Yes. If you go to John chapter 13, the mm -hmm. Passover was at hand. Yes. yes. Why are you talking about the Passover so much? Mm -hmm. It was because he was yes. the animal that was to die mm -hmm. on the Passover. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why was he going to die as a Passover lamb? To start a testament? Mm -hmm. Yes. To purchase the church so that there can be wine for the wedding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kana is a preparation to provide wine mm -hmm. for the wedding. Yes. Yeah. Isaac in Genesis 22, mm -hmm. as they were climbing one of the Moriah mountains in verse number five. Yes. With his father Abraham. And Abraham said unto his young men, I bide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Yes. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. Yes. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Yes. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. You see? Yes. Isaac represents you and I. Yes. At the Kana wedding, everything was there except wine. Mm. Yes. Isaac saw the knife. Yes. Isaac saw the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isaac saw the firewood. <laughs> but Isaac realized 
Nothing will materialize in this sacrifice mm -hmm. if there is no sacrifice or when, if there is no lamb. Yes. Where is the blood? Mm -hmm. When Isaac asked this question in verse 7, yes. he said, where, mm -hmm. where is the lamb mm -hmm. for a burnt offering? Yes. Isaac was asking, where is the blood? Yes. Mm -hmm. We are now living in days where the church is full of everything but the blood. Mm. Yes. You go into the church, the pastor is smartly dressed. The microphone is state of the art. The pastor's wife is very beautiful and looking elegant. Mm -hmm. The praise team, oh, they know how to sing, even though they don't know what they're singing about. Yes. When they write about their church, they talk about the numbers of their congregations. Mm -hmm. The money that the men of God has, the mansions the men of God are building. They talk about the private jets mm -hmm. which they are planning on buying. I want to raise a generation that is concerned about wine. Mm -hmm. Where is wine? Where is the blood? Where is the lamb of a burnt offering? Mm. There is no more blood in the church. Eloquent dandaheads eloquently presented heresy. Mm -hmm. Bloodless speeches are not sermons. Mm. When there is no blood, yes. there is no remission of sins. Yes. Are you going to be the bride of Christ? Are you going to be in the marriage hall? Are you aware of the requirement? They have no wine. That is the requirement. Ujapinda ere naitzano, pamutambu wekuwa na wekwayana. Kana utuminenge muri ugu kwa arugu nzarugu ya arimu motoku. Hasa kapano duwa shi. Inda anjifunga kutusha. Ndaka endeza maria ya idi wana pasta. Ay. Koze mari wazu wana kupi. Iwo nufuko tida yi maria yi pinza. Denga ne bukati ne zairi shaya erewe. When the king invited guests to the marriage in Matthew 22. Yes. Listen to what he said. Mm hmm as he sent his servants mm -hmm. to invite guests. Yes. The Bible says in verse, verse 4, again, again he sent forth other servants, saying, yes. Tell them mm -hmm. which are bidden. Yes. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. Mm -hmm. yes. My oxen and my fatlings are killed. Yes. And all things are ready. ready. Come unto the marriage. Yes. I want us to, to keep this scripture on the screen mm -hmm. as we conclude this message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the king invited the guests to the marriage, yes. he persuaded them mm -hmm. that everything was ready. Yes. Yes. On the list of what was important yes. for him to declare himself ready, yes. there was no cake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Pastor, there were no balloons. Yes. yes. There was no expensive DJ hired mm -hmm. or in a hired MC, master of ceremony. Yes. He said, Well, tell those who are invited, mm -hmm. this is how I have prepared for the marriage supper. Yes. yes. My oxen mm -hmm. and my fatlings are killed. Yes. yes. All things are ready. Yes. Ndakaaye <laughs> 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 Ah, Madodo do a chata mbuga, neva pereke zimsiwoyo, mchanu irira mvura. Yeah. When he lists the things that are necessary for the marriage to happen, mm -hmm. he said, all things are ready. And we were asking, 
What are the old things? Mm -hmm. He said, well, the oxen are killed. Ona yo vadikani, do the reo vesi. Can as we chinsi, yes, java ready. Shas no go reva and there's a goody. Zai fani wakufa, zafa. Chat walked it. Yeah, yeah. Then you know, I am a gown is if it is all of them, Ziku, eh? Pamakas also Uganda, Lakas, who is got bandage, you are Spanish Abuchata. Amenos, Aganga, Zoram Soros, Gava Pisa. It was a while. Canas is wrong, Gamchato, Chao Chao. Who can go of Jesus in the Jesus of a red? Snung whatever with the Panafa, Chet, Chet. All things are red. It simply means. The fetlings are dead. The oxen are dead. Kosala did pap. Kombatatis is die by re. Kohoku zedu zino kwana ere. Kompunga wenu. Makatenga ununa kaere. Abas would you ampuga? Parkungo di wachino fa. Once the fetlings are killed, yes. all things are ready. Come to the marriage. This is why he attended the Kana wedding. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know what constitutes all things yes. to be ready. Yes. And Mother Mary said, well, once you provide wine, all things will be ready. Give us blood. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, let's go, guys. Yes. And the guy said, since you can do the wine issue, we believe yeah, in you. Well. Yes. <laughs> the, the marriage at Kana ended with the disciples believing. Yes. And what did they believe in? They did not believe that yeah. Jesus performs miracles. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. They believed that Jesus is the Lord. Yes. Who is going to die for their sins. Yes. yes. To provide blood mm -hmm. so that all things can be ready. Yes. So, there is no effort from anyone at the Kana wedding. There is no effort. He just turned water into wine. The idea of God in doing that is that he wanted nobody to share the glory with Jesus. Mm -hmm. How did you turn water into wine? Well, he prayed and he asked Peter to do another prayer. He, he said, let's do a corporate prayer. No, no, no such thing exists in the Bible. <laughs> but of course, they say we do corporate prayers. I don't know if they know what the word corporate means. <laughs> but listen to me. He was supposed to take all the glory mm -hmm. because he provided the wine himself alone with no help from nobody. Because he was going to shed blood to provide the blood to everyone with no help from nobody. Mm -hmm. So that when God commands him, he says to him, I saw the Levites, they offered sacrifices every year, yes. which can ne never take away sins. Mm -hmm. But once you offered yourself, you sat down on the right hand of, of God because you paid their sins once and for all. Yes. I hope you understand. Yes. Yes. Because Yes. 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 Dezaivano, what Tauri equity in Jesse Java Red, Kumchato, what did they? In Indacatuma Guzokuza, I am sent to tell you the Lord is inviting you to the marriage supper. The Lord has sent me to tell you that all things are ready. The Lord has sent me to tell you that when He means, when He says all things, He means Christ. Has died yes. and risen for your sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what all things mean unto God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Kana pato ngo ita ya fabezi, mchatu watu wa redi. Yes. Chaka wanda wanda msachaki. May you focus on the message that emphasizes, that insists on the suffering of yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. May you demand that they talk about the suffering of Christ, the blood of Calvary, and the glory of Christ for the finished works of the cross. Yes. Mm -hmm. May you not wander around and about looking for all things that are not necessary at the wedding of the, of the Lamb. Yes. The marriage supper of the Lamb. You are an invited guest. All that was required has already been provided mm -hmm. by God himself, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. That's what God wants you to have, the blood. We thank God for you. We hope you have enjoyed the message. Ah. You are wasting time gossiping about pastors and bishops and deacons and elders. If you received the invitation, mm -mm. if you received the sprinkled blood on your soul, because the Bible says you have been sprinkled with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2, mm -hmm. you need this blood in order for you to enter yes. through the door of the marriage hall. Yes. If you don't have the blood, you shall unfortunately be in the judgment hall. Yes. Yes. They are elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father yes. through sanctification of the Spirit mm -hmm. and to obedience and sprinkling mm -hmm. of the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. People like us, we were sprinkled by the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why you don't see a sticker on my car. Yes. Written about some prophet who is crazy and <laughs> delirious. Yeah. Yes. 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 Ujazi tsala mafita sei muno mbatei unoshaya kuti munhu hapinda achitambirwa uya uya agumbuka nguvai sobva zvanze musunge imakumbo nemao mm. you are in the wrong hole if he finds no blood upon you yes you will not leave egypt to go into the promised land you shall perish in your sins I hope this message has blessed your spirit. I really hope so. I was asking the Lord if we should do a second segment. I do have another message that I wanted to share with you. But we have heard enough, we have heard too much. And the Lord says, This is more than food for one meal. So we are not going to come back to do the second segment. We don't want you to fill your house with buckets full of water and not have time to bath. Yeah. If you want to share with brethren about what we have taught today, mm -hmm. you can do discussions on Facebook, on WhatsApp, wherever. But we have to let you go so that we can have time to regurgitate on what we were teaching. Yes. Yes. You don't just have to hear the word, you have to meditate on the word. Yes. We thank God for today. We hope it was a good potohuru for you. Yes. We hope also that on Wednesday, we shall find time to review this message. Mm -hmm. Kana. Yes. 
And don't forget the announcements which I shared with you earlier on today. We have come to the end of our service. I pray to God that before you leave this world through death, you would have received the sprinkling of blood into your spirit. Yes. Without which no man shall see God. Stay blessed, stay strong, stay focused, stay disciplined. Spy for now.